Hello? My mic on? Video on? Stream on? Hello? It is. Nice. Sometimes it'd be difficult to tell if things are working properly. Alright, let me see. What's going on? What's going on? Where will you join them? I haven't played in a little bit, so I'm gonna do a little difficulty five to get kind of warmed up, I suppose. What is this? Oh my. Ooh. Maybe a difficulty four. Go ahead and run through the two missions. The mission on Martel now? Uh, no. We we liberated the the two planets. Both Minkent and Lasaith are both are both uh, liberated. So the major order for now is you know it's complete. So it's kind of just move to whatever planet you want to uh, work on. Martel is already 65%, so it's probably going to be completely liberated soon. Yeah, Martel. Martel's a pretty decent planet. Pretty decent planet. I do kind of like it. Yeah. We get kind of warmed up on a difficulty four, though. Dude, I've been laying in bed for hours. My back hurts. My body hurts. My head hurts. Yeah, I do like a four to get warmed up, I guess. One Fuck it. Book it. I get warmed up with you? Yeah, you can join. You can join. If you're able to, if you're on the game. Some would say democracy. No. Yes, but no. <laughs> Sabashi, how's it going? <clears throat> I'm kind of under the impression that no matter what I do, no matter what setting I change, I'm just going to have in-game FPS issues when I stream due to my GPU. So I'm kind of just going to have to deal with it until I upgrade my GPU. So, sucks to suck, I guess. But, um... On that end, let me know if the stream, you know, messes up or anything like that. Uh, because I kind of just reverted all the settings back to how they originally were. So the stream should look pretty, pretty good. Shouldn't really be too pixelated or anything like that. I'm just going to have to deal with my in-game FPS drops until one day I get a new GPU. So unfortunate, very unfortunate, but it is what it is. I do find it really weird that I can record and not have issues, but when I stream, that's when I have issues. I find it very intriguing. Maybe, maybe that's a sign. Maybe I should just not stream and just record, but it is what it is. You might be able to do one mission. Oh, I see. So you hate democracy and freedom. I understand. That's all you had to say. Just need food. I see. It do be around that time, I guess. I actually ate before I started stream. Dude, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know what's been going on with me, but I've been feeling pretty, pretty sickly the past few days. So like, whenever I sleep, dude, I just sleep for much longer than I intend. Like, dude, I'd be, I'd be sleeping for like, 12 14 hours and then when I wake up I'm just laying in bed because uh I don't know my body hurts things from feeling sick it's the time of the year you know allergies kind of kick in and fuck everything up oh my god crow you're level 15 let's go Gonna land right in the middle of the map. Right in the middle. What is that armor?
What is that armor? Where did that armor come from? Where did that armor come from? Huh? You wanna tell me your dirty little secrets? Huh? Bro? New battle pass? The the newest one's been out for a couple of days now. Been out for almost a week now. You haven't played for that amount of time. You haven't played in a week? Jesus. Talk about anti democracy, I see. Had to do adulting sounds like skill issues <laughs> uh let me see here i'm gonna try the 380 i'm gonna be honest with you i'm gonna try the 380 i always consider it but i never actually take it but i'm gonna try it Uh, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a suck at adulting. Yeah, being an adult sucks. I'm gonna go back to when I was like a kid, you know, play games, go to school. A lot easier looking back. Hello world, it's me, Mr. 20 FPS. is a big base right there let's go knock that out yeah, yeah. this planet looks a lot different during the daytime i've always only been on it during the night So clear. Clear skies. Democracy coming in hot. Yeah, buddy. Shit. Gotta take out this tower before it, for whatever reason, decides to start shooting us. Right. No, we don't have to worry about that. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Oh. Ah. 
have a little bit of freedom. Better you you have that back. Yeah. Did you know when those things bust and it creates those green clouds that acts like a smoke? I don't think many people knew that. That was a early shot. Where you going, buddy? Tagging map. North. 100 meters. Is my shot hitting a invisible wall or something? Hello? Rare sample acquired. There we go. Nice. Dropping a pin. Northeast. Let's go Three blow some meters. of their fuel up. No fuel for them. Gotta reload. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, how does this look? I don't know, can't tell. Oh my. All right, let's see how effective this thing is. You try to throw it kind of in the middle. may get blown up in this oh my god is doing damage though and blowing the shit up holy fuck brother and y'all can have some of that too see you I don't know you all right let's get in here and get the fucking hell bomb um it's just this one I'll handle the terminal. 
Watch me whip it. Watch me nay nay. All right. Get this thing active. Got a sample. Package acquired. Dropping package. Eagle, back in the fight. Package. Dropping package. I uh, need one more. Got it. For the ones who did not know, you want to put the artillery at the uh, at the gun first before you activate the terminal. Because if you activate the terminal and then go grab the uh, the shells, there's a high chance, especially on higher difficulties, that whenever you activate the terminal, enemies will start like spawning to come here, or a patrol nearby will come here. So it's safer and faster to move the uh, shells to it and then activate the terminal. Because activating the terminal makes noise. So they come here to check the noise, etc, etc. But I don't know if it's the terminal itself that makes the noise, but or if it's just the in-game thing, maybe it's the thing being turned on. I don't know. But yeah, <clears throat> enemies, enemies were coming, like check it out. Got a drop ship. Drop ship. Radio comm static, maybe. What, whatever it is, noise are being made and enemies will go to it. That's why it's better and safer to um, move the shells and then activate the terminal. That way, in case enemies do show up, you can already throw the shells in and get out. That's why you always see me move the shells first. But since they just called a drop shell, go ahead and attack these guys. But yeah, I, I notice it more when I play on higher difficulties. These lower difficulties, you don't see it as often. Elbow. No one's next to that. Oh my god. Reinforcing. Hell bomb went off. Don't know what it did.
There's mines here. Oh my god. Holy fuck, there's so many. Got a drop ship as well. Where are you shooting that rocket, buddy? Oh my god. Damn fabricator. Cheeks. Get a small base of you and then a really big base. Welcome. And yeah, then we got this really big base. This one has hulks in it, by the way. There's a hole right behind me. Holy. He dead. All right, that base is destroyed. We can dodge it, leave it alone. They're getting fucked up anyways. Move, move, move. Hard to take out this base right here. Holy moly. My teammate did that. My teammate killed me. My teammate just fucking killed me. This is why I play solo. Southeast, 
Take that. Calling down supplies. Supplies come down if you need it. Over there, where the big beam is. My God. Be cool if you could use a laser to cut down trees, gather some wood, build a campfire. Probably could actually, I have no idea. Maybe not the campfire part. Throw a 380 up in this bitch. It's gonna blow shit up. Here you go, guys. Oh, I missed. Actually, I am curious. Can you cut down the trees with this? You cannot. That barrage is getting a freaking kill streak though. Holy. Watch out for that. And <laughs> part of that kill streak was a teammate. Oh no. <laughs> I, you, you ran away. You ran away from it. And then when I shot at you, you ran back to it. I was trying to I was trying to clear it so enemies didn't shoot it when we was next to it. <laughs> Sacrifices were were made. Some of these, some of these mines are very camouflaged. Hellbomb armed, clear the area. Hellbomb armed, move, move, move. Very nice. I don't know if there was any other side objectives. We've already done three. I think there's only three on level four. Oh, that's, that's a lot. I'm gonna rotate left. Someone alerted them though. Holy shit. That's two patrols mixed into one. Holy shit. Uh, dude, I fucking hate this game. 
Uh, yeah. <clears throat> There's three more outposts uh, we could destroy before doing that. Can I not climb this? Hello? over this one because this is the last objective clear those other small outposts and then come back and knock this out because once we complete this the uh game's gonna double double the enemy spawns even though it's difficulty four it still is like you know do i want to deal with it no not really Am I though? No diver, you are moving outside the mission area. Am I though? I'm rotating, that's what I'm doing. It's called tactically rotating. Holy shit. Know your proudest moment. <laughs> you gotta take cover. You gotta retreat. You gotta. That's floating in the air. That's weird. Right, we can push to that last objective. Now, I'm on three eighty barrage. It. Fuck them up. the stream by the way is the stream all right is it okay i'm gonna ask for a new gpu for christmas <laughs> for christmas i want a new gpu jesus
Alright, I'm gonna 380 barrage this. Try to get it in the middle of the base. Oh. And then also throw that in there. And then throw that in there. This place is just getting bombed. Very nice. GPU sub with them. Maybe. I've done it in the past. Unfortunately, life happened and I had to use that money for fucking medical bills. You using the thermite? It freaking feel like I, I feel like that freaking grenade is so ass. I mean, like, I think it's good, but it's, it doesn't fit my play style. It takes way too long for it to do anything. Prefer a high impact. Yeah. Same. I feel like I just get more value from high impact. I don't know. Maybe I need a, I, it, it's one of those, it's one of those, uh, equipment, right? That only works in specific situations or on very specific targets when I feel like I can use the high impact in almost every scenario yeah it just doesn't fit my play style pretty much maybe I need to do some like loadout testing with it I know I know it can kill a hulk but you have to throw like two or three of them on a hulk and you have to get it like on its face too. Eagle one, armed and ready. Eighteen minus thirty seconds. Requesting air support. They're speaking of a hope. Nice. Why 500 kilogram pebble actually kill the hole? For peace, for freedom, for king and country. I'm not getting left. Extraction complete. Pelican 1 beginning ascent. Pelican PTSD is real, guys. It's fucking real. I don't care what anybody says. You've been left behind before and they don't have it. Well, you see, there's a difference, right? There's a difference between you being left behind and me being left behind, all right? I matter more, more important. <laughs> when you have, when you are playing level nine, and you have the super samples and then someone gets on the pelican and it says you know 20 20 seconds before takeoff and you're running to the pelican and the pelican decides to take off with 15 seconds left you get ptsd from that
That was one for the record books. When you don't have super samples and you're just slow and you don't get on in time, that doesn't matter. But yeah, I don't know where Crow got that armor. I haven't seen it. I haven't I haven't seen that armor anywhere. Looks like some Halo fucking armor to be honest. I haven't seen that armor show up anywhere. She hacked the game. That's what it is. She hacked the game. Because it's it's not in the Superstore. I haven't seen it. In, I mean, it could be in like the Superstore's rotation, but I haven't seen it. Superstore updates in eight hours, nine hours, technically speaking. I've already got most things from this one except for the the heavy one. It was super story. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I I must have just not been on the game when it was there. We on until Superstore. Dude, I'm I'm playing until Superstore updates. <laughs> so for nine hours. Uh the major order has been completed. So I don't know when the major order might get updated. Well, actually, the major order updates in... The major order updates... The major order updates in 12 hours. So I, I, I will actually probably be on until the major order updates. So I can see what it is. Plus, I only woke up like a few hours ago, so. Like for me, even though it's like 7, 11 p.m., it still feels like midday-ish, like morning-ish, almost lunchtime-ish, you know what I'm saying? Dude, like I said, I've been feeling sick the past couple of days, so like, I, I've just been feeling fucked up. All right, this is the 12, 12 minute blitz search and destroy mission. Hopefully some democracy helps. Well, playing the game at like 20 FPS doesn't, doesn't feel great. I'll say that. So there's, there's a lot of like playing the game and like feeling the stutter and feeling the fps lag it, it definitely makes me not enjoy it but it is what it is uh, strap up to the deep uh, we gotta go with stuff that's gonna bomb shit Because we're destroying fabricators in 12 minutes. Like you're taking centuries for a mission where we're haunting fabricators. Like we're not defending anything. The only thing we would have to defend is like the um, extract. So, I mean, sentries are really good for defending the extract. I miss the days where I used to take sentries. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to take a sentry. Fuck it, guys. I'm taking a sentry, too. Don't forget about me. Uh, I want to take things that will destroy outposts. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a, take a 180. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a 500. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I'm gonna take a, uh, then I'm gonna take a century. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then and then and then and then I'm gonna take a uh, I'm gonna take a I'm 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 a uh 
You know what I haven't taken forever? The freaking recoilers rifle. I think I'm gonna take that and then regret it, but it'd be fine. This is just probably my all around favorite helmet because like I, it, it's just a black helmet. It, it just goes with every fit. And then and then and then. Okay, you get fatality. Fatality's all right. Fatality's probably the weakest booster. Um, kinda. I'm gonna take the extraction timer. Yeah, I'm gonna take the extraction timer. Yeah. You only have three boosters. That's fine. I'm not. I'm not saying like don't take it. I'm just saying like from my testing of it, my personal experience with it. It's probably the one that I, I personally, it would be like the last pick for me. Like I would take the recon booster over the fatality one. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't freaking done the uh, recoil rifle forever. I already forgot the freaking code for it. All right, it's pretty much an EAT, but with a backpack. All right, we already have a. Do we got seven? Jesus, we got we got to destroy seven. I'm gonna go for the easy ones. Fuck it. <laughs> Dude, you seven on difficulty four? Dude, I get like four fabricators on like difficulty nine. What the fuck? I think it's random. I'm gonna be honest. In an Oh shit, I forgot I'm not wearing armor or I'm not wearing a shield. I can't see you, buddy. But you're a bot with aim bot, so you can see me. Got it. Dude, these bushes slow you down. What the hell happened over here? Oh, well, shit, that was close. <laughs> Watch out for the mines. Watch out for the mines. Yep. <laughs> There's one way of not watching out for the mines. These mines are kind of camouflaged on this map. They blend in pretty well with the uh, with some of the um, the plants. I don't know if this would work. I mean, I know it will, but I don't know the proper aim for this. I've gotten so used to being able able to almost aim anywhere with the freaking eruptor. That uh, rockets 
You have to be a little bit more straight. I'm going to rotate around to this base. There's only one in this one. Uh, I'll believe that one of you guys got it. There is another base behind it over there. Job ship. Oh, what the hell? I actually, I'm going to freaking push this detection tower. We only need one more fabricator. I'm still going to push the detection tower. I feel like we have a little bit of time. That didn't blow that up. Oh, shit. The Hulk. I have no grenades. Brother. That's called democracy. We need to take on the fucking fabricator. They're just gonna keep spawning from it. That didn't destroy the fucking tower?
Uh, we gotta push that uh, extraction. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. I'm moving. Oh, dude, I thought I reloaded. Oh, I have no ammo. That's not good. That would explain a lot. Any ammo? Yes. One minute. This thing already loaded. It is. Ooh. You need to leave after extract. That's fine. I gotta uh, restart my game. I've noticed every time I change like a, a graphic setting, I gotta restart the game or it doesn't like kick in properly. So I gotta restart the game after extract anyways. Hi. The extraction booster is nice, but it only it only removes fifteen seconds. Interesting thing is it doesn't feel like 15 seconds. It feels like it feels like it takes off a lot more Pelican one, landing in progress. Countdown initiated. Stand by for takeoff. Extraction complete. Pelican one beginning ascent. Bro, what if they had the boosters? What if they had the boosters as a one-time use? What what if they what if they did that? What if the boosters was like that? It was a one-time use. You know how like DBD were like whenever you, you take an item or uh a, you burn an offering, like you lose it after that match unless you uh you know escape with it. What if the boosters was like that? So like you had to kind of like uh stock up on like the boosters and stuff put them in rotation of super stores i don't think i don't think they would need to be put in the super store what if it was more like um um maybe it could be like instead of the super store credits maybe you could use the normal money for Cause I mean, like, once you get all the stratagems, you don't, you don't need to s spend the money on anything. So I feel like maybe it was like something you could you could buy in this, and you would use the the normal money for. It. That way, you always have something to spend that on. Cause I mean, like I've been I've been capped at fifty thousand for like a couple of days. Cause like I have nothing to spend it on. I I think that's one thing this game's lacking is items to spend the money on. I mean, like in the beginning or lower levels, you're kind of like, fuck, you know, I gotta save up so I can buy the stratagem and stuff like that. But once you have them all, it's like, 
they kind of become pointless. Like every time I unlock like a, a bunker door or one of those capsules and it's, you know, it's just the, the money. I'm just like, fuck, that was a waste because I'm not even getting the value from it. I mean, like my teammates probably are, but like I'm not. But yeah. Yeah, I got to restart the game. True, 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 true. True, true. Wait. <clears throat> Restarting. 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 Da 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 da. Uh hmm. <clears throat> this game sometimes takes a minute to actually boot up. Holy moly. There we go. You can't join. What do you mean? You just joined. You're right there, buddy. Orbit synchronized. So we got power and pick up the launch colds. Nice. I see. Push those side objectives first. Mm. 
Ooh, rail cannon. Boom. Boom. And auto cannon. Maybe? Look in and yeah, try something like that. Kind of messing around with different stuff. I feel like I've gotten very comfortable using the the shield. I'm trying to remember my early days when I didn't have the shield. I don't want to get too comfortable to using the shield, you know. Oh, I can't see. Where are we? Oh shit. And fear the shadow of neither death nor spirit, but justice is your cause. Found something! Requesting advanced weaponry! Let me take this. Oh, shit. Freedom never sleeps. You may. Found something. Rear sample acquired. Sample collected. You got that?
Hmm. I heard you say there's no use for the money, but now e each new ship mod costs 25k. Well, yeah, the new ones. But I mean, the new ones are kind of useless, to be honest. I feel like I feel like the ship the ship mods should have cost the money from the very beginning. Got to go east. Into the new shadow gym shops, that's the only thing you can do. True. I don't know. I mean, like, from my opinion, I've said this before. And, um, I mean, I also literally just said it again. I feel like the, the ship upgrades should have costed money from the very beginning. You know, obviously, you know, first upgrade be a little less compared to like upgrade three, right? Like upgrade one might be like 2K, upgrade two might be like 5K, upgrade three might be like 10K, etc., etc. And then it now, like the upgrade four, for some reason, randomly costs 25K. It's just a little random. It doesn't make sense, I guess. But at least there's something that you can use your money. But yeah, I've been I've been capped at 50k for the past couple of days because there's just nothing for me to spend it on. And I'm not even really too interested in getting the fourth upgrade for the ship because uh, none of them really pique my interest. And the barrage one, I don't know. I've heard mixed things about the barrage one. I've heard people say they regret upgrading it and then I've heard people say they like it. So. I think that one's really going to come down to personal preference. Yeah, take out that jammer over there. Hey, mark it. There we go. Oh, it's so muddy. I do be curious on what some of uh, the new stratagems could be. I feel like they're going to be expensive, though. Can't tell if there's a fabricator next to the jammer or not. I don't think there is. There is, I just don't see it. Yeah, we may have to just push this. There's a fabricator next to it. I'm just gonna shoot the fabricator. Don't see one though.
feel like I'm reloading this thing more than I am shooting it. And a resupply. We got a dip no dot. Oh, why would you climb that? Uh, we can actually start pushing the uh, main objective. I didn't realize it was so far away. I think you should be able to turn money to metals. Just finish first acquisition after like a hundred hours. I think that'd be cool too. Turn in the money for metals. Or if you hit the cap, you can turn the the money into the super credits. Like the cap's 50k, so what if you hit 50k, you can uh, turn it in for like, I don't know, two 250 super credits or something like that. I don't know, because obviously super credits or value more. So maybe like, oh that's a sniper. Maybe like 50k requisition it would be like I don't know 250 super credits or maybe like 500 super credits, something like that. I don't know, you know something like that. Or, you know, or you could choose, like, to turn it into, uh, metals instead. One cake or one credit. I'm I got the freaking audio bug Dude, I get it every single time that's that's probably the biggest thing I hate about the jammers is like I get the freaking audio jammer bug Well, I'm just I'm just hearing like the jammer non-stop Even though I'm not being jammed it is the most annoying fucking thing I get it every time. I'm hoping if I throw stratagems, it was in the bug. Cause sometimes it does, but it's not, it's not working. Maybe if I called the resupply. No. Bug. Reloading.
Dude, this gun's slow ass aim is annoying as well. Like the slow sway. And then combine that with my fucking 20 FPS, it makes it so fucking unbearable. Jesus. Yeah, they really got to fix this jammer audio bug. It's it's so annoying. Why would you shoot at them? You just alerted a whole patrol for no reason. Fabricator. There it is. I can't get it to pop up. Yeah, you gotta you gotta push the gunships. Like once you get like within I think like fifty meters of them, I think it's like fifty meters or sixty five meters, something like that. They start spawning the the gunships. So like you got you gotta push this shit. Yeah, nothing blows these up except for a hell bomb. Orbital laser doesn't do it. Orbital cannon doesn't do it. Barrages don't do it. 500 doesn't do it because that's a pretty much a pebble bomb. The only thing that blows these up is uh hell bombs. Oh my god. Can't move. These fucking bushes. My 20 FPS, bro. The Eruptors, uh, the Eruptors is probably the best fabricator destroyer weapon. 
because uh, the angle you can like hit it at is a lot uh, more lenient. Everything else, you kind of have to hit it a little bit, uh, a little bit straighter. Or YT. Hit that big ass base and then finish the objective. Launch a nuke. Salute. Get out. Well, shit. Because you can't one shot most things. No, it doesn't. It takes like two shots. It's, it's pretty much, it's exactly the same as the um, EAT. It's just the laser version of it. It does not one-shot most things, unless you get a lucky, like, headshot. But yeah, it's pretty much, the, the Gazer Cannon is pretty much just the... It, it's pretty much just a um, laser laser version of, like, the recoilless rifle or the uh, the EAT. The recoilless rifle is pretty much a backpack version of the EAT. So if anything, the ge geyser can is pretty much just that, just laser version. The only way it would one shot if uh, like a Hulk is if you get a lucky headshot immediately. But the uh, the tower, the tower things, two shots. Tank. Two shots. Gazer has infinity ammo and doesn't take up a backpack slot. Well, that's why I'm saying it's, it's, that's why it's the, um, it's exactly the same as the AT and re recoilless rifle. It's exactly the same, it does the exact same amount of damage. It's just the laser version of it, which removes the uh, backpack. But it does have its downsides as well. You know, once you shoot it, you have to wait for it to cool down. And then you have to uh, charge it up. Compared to the recoilless uh, or the EAT, you can charge it. As, uh, you can shoot as soon as you aim. I think I I don't think the geyser is better than the EAT. I don't think the geyser is better than the recoilless. I don't think the EAT is better than them either. I think they're on par with each other. I thought I had a freaking barrage. Oh shit! What the fuck? Yeah, I think I think they are equally the same. It just depends on like what kind of scenario you're in, what kind of mission you're doing. But damage damage wise, they're 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 the same damage wise. Fuck. My 20 FPS kicking me in the ass right now. I 
I would say I would take the laser cannon, to be fair. In my opinion, I would take the laser cannon over all three of those. Dude, this jammer audio bug is annoying. It's actually giving me a, a headache. Like, legit, I'm getting a headache from just hearing this. They've really got to fix this. This game is just filled with bugs, and it's annoying. Map, north, oh, yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes is more than enough. We just launch the nuke and then head to the extraction. What the fuck? <clears throat> the game is full of bugs and too many bots. I mean, like actual like game breaking issues there's a lot of issues with this game that should honestly be fixed This game has more issues than a Bethesda game. Dude, what the fuck? Could try to hit that last sound post, but honestly, I think just extracting, moving on, better plan. Unless it was a side, it's not though. Good dip note down out of here. There's a patrol right there at the launch too. I don't know if it would kill them.
Get out of my way. I have to salute the nuke. Every time. You gotta salute the nuke. You gotta salute the nuke. I have hugs, no salute. See? That just means I'm more patriotic than you are. Oh. Mission at 10 minutes remaining. Uh, we're in the middle of the map. Don't run there. The The middle of the map has all these freak... Uh, has the... Bug of all these... All the little infantry guys just running there. Going to the middle. Oh my god. You pissed them off. <laughs> you pissed them off. Yeah. You got them. You got them fucking locked onto you. Yeah, the middle of the map is like bugged as fuck. Never go to the middle of the map. Another bug in this game. Oh yeah, that fire being super OP as well. <laughs> Gotta love it. Makes no sense. I'm stuck. I don't know why. I don't know why I can't move. You may proceed to extraction when ready. I died and I still have the jammer audio bug. So stupid. Bro, look at him. There's more just going to the middle of the map. Like what? Uh, what is what is you guys' issue with the with the middle of the map? Stop it! Get some help. Extract. What the fuck you think I'm doing? Hello? I had to pick up my samples. In these samples. And that sample. Samples everywhere. Holy fuck. I didn't bring a century. I thought I did. I brought century last mission. Fuck. You can probably go like a whole mission without ever using a century, right? But as soon as you get to the extract, dude, the century can come in so clutch. Almost any century, too. Except for mines. Mines suck.
Oh my god, here they come. Fuck them up, fuck them up. Oh, there's a hole. Hulk's dead. Oh shit. The cluster bomb is so effective at clearing like hordes of them and doing damage to the big ones that they can't kill. Who the fuck is shooting a rocket at me? Oh. That's multiple rockets. Boom. Right Stuck one before I left. <laughs> nice. Are you still using the thermite? Yeah, I didn't know it sticks. Yeah, the thermite's a, it, it's, it's a sticky grenade, pretty much. It sticks to everything you throw it at, including like a wall, a rock, a fence. Um, sticks to the enemies. Um, but you can throw it. It's kind of like the impact grenade in a way. If you angle it right, you can throw it at the vent of like a fabricator. Downs the walkers. The walkers is the um, the berserkers with the freaking saw arms, right? Dude, I hate those. I probably hate them more than all, any of the others. <laughs> they just take so much damage. They suck. Yeah, dude, they take so much damage. There's been plenty of times where I've hit one of them with the geyser cannon, right? In its face, right? In its, like, uh... Uh, stomach because its face and its stomach is its two weak points and they 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 would tank they would tank it and just keep going there was one time i hit one of them in the face three times with the gazoo cannon and it just kept going it's, it's like it just took no damage so then i pulled out the eat and the eat one shot it I had to change that real quick. Dude, I've been playing on like window mode, so my, my like game is in like a very tiny window. It's very difficult for me to see. <laughs> very difficult to see. Oh, 
motherfuckers so rude? Who? Those berserkers? Yeah, they are pretty rude. They are pretty rude indeed. You can actually probably land extract, clear around it, push this shit, and go around, do this thing, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Take off this armor though. But I fell so slow with this armor. Guess it's not too bad though. I don't know. I gotta stop wearing the light armor. Because whenever I wear medium, I just feel slow. Fuck it. Fuck it. Real cannon. A barrage, maybe? Maybe. Um. Garage, cluster. Actually, I'm going to remove the barrage. Rail cannon. No, keep the rail cannon. I want to. Hmm. 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 Laser cannon. Extract. Yeah. 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 Where are we? Oh yeah, we landed on the extract. Why did my bounce so far away? Push that.
Orbital incoming. Oh my god. Sending in an eagle. Here comes the cavalry. Back to empty. Got a sample. Rare sample acquired. Oh, we got a Hulk over here. There's a Hulk to the right in that patrol. with the barrages oh shit There's two gunship towers. Two. We'll throw a resupply radio in the middle. Cause you need it. I kinda do. At least one. Gunships coming out. Requesting air support. We got to push that. We got drop ships as well. I'm pushing. Hopefully if I get this right, you will blow up both. Kind of doubt it though. 
the gunship to prioritize uh the hell bomb once it lands Uh, the second one, the second one's coming out. Engaging terminal. Hell bomb arm, clear the area. Yep. Yeah, they they prioritize shooting the hell bomb, and it's fucking annoying because it. it it wastes your time. No, the hell bomb being right there is such a, it was such a waste. Hopefully it comes here, unless it sends two. I've never seen it drop two before. I think that's, I don't, I think that's a bug. Okay. I don't think it's supposed to do that. <laughs> hell bomb arm, clear the area. Yeah, when there's two like that, you want to try to throw it like in the middle of them. Found something. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're both destroyed. Fuck it. There's another one. Oh my God. How many gunship towers do they need? Oh shit. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I think this is a bunker. Yeah. I'm on it. I'm on it. What is it? What's in here? Ammo. Points, medals. We take it, we take it. Oh, I can't see. Oh, my God. Hell bomb on the way, brother. What is shooting at me? Oh. Dropping a 
Have your grenade back. It just keeps showing up out of nowhere. Party wire right there. Supplies, if you need it. Yes, yes. My legs. Thank you. My life for super. Yo, what's up, Beastly? How's it going, brother? Oh my god. My ass cheeks. Good, how's your day? Uh, same old, same old. Oh my god.
Oh my god. You ran straight into that. You ran into it. Don't look at me. Freedom never sleeps. Dude, they, ju they just keep spawning from the uh, fabricators. Oh my god. Why is there so many? Jesus. Got another small outpost right here. There's nothing even there. Tackle this, uh, small outpost right over, right over here. And then hit the big one and then objective. Yeah, this one. So this, hopefully it kills whatever's there and then run in. Oh, I did not throw that as far as I thought. I swear, I find more samples at these small outposts than like anywhere else.
Pushing right. Oh, well, my God. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm going to blame that one on my teammate. That one, that one's going. Yeah, I'm blaming that on my teammate. I don't know how. I don't know why. And probably I'm probably wrong, but I'm, I'm blaming it on my teammate anyways. <laughs> Retreat, get back to cover. Run. You ran so far, <laughs> bro. I don't know how or why, but I got sent flying to Narnia. I don't even know what happened. I'm not. I'm not gonna stand here and fight those though. That's just wasting time. I'm gonna push the the outpost. Kinda wish I saved my barrage though, so I could throw in this. Your stuff? We can go back and get it later. Unless you can call down your, uh, your support stuff. Well, I mean, all you had was a, a guard dog. Guard dogs aren't really great against spots, in my opinion. I killed myself. I killed myself by accident. I can't get the samples. The thing was in the way, I had to blow it up.
damn, bad throw. Got a hockey boy. Oh, shit. He's got rockets. Hulk's dead at least. It doesn't destroy job ships. Fucking sniping with this thing. So let's just say I get hell divers. I mean, you don't have to get the game. I'm not telling you to get it or anything like that. It's up to you, up to everyone, whether they want the game or not. Oh my God. There's a Hulk up there. Hulk's dead. Oh! Oh, I need ammo. Would I be able to play with it or am I just going to do no damage? What do you mean by that? What do you mean do no damage? What do you mean? You don't know how leveling works? Uh, level is just difficulty of... Level doesn't mean anything in this game. All it means is different weapons you can unlock, different stratagems you can take, and stuff like that. Uh, but everything is horizontally balanced. It means the starting weapons is just as good as weapons that you can unlock um, later. I still I still use the the starter uh, rifle. Um, difficulty the like it's this game is not like destiny or anything like that enemies don't have more health or do more damage at higher difficulties they they do the same amount of damage so they have the same amount of health throughout throughout the game the only thing about level difficulty that changes is the types of enemies you can see how many enemies you will see so like the higher difficulties you see more enemies and you receive more of the stronger enemies like the hulks who just have like heavy armor and rockets and shit 
you have a chance to see like more outposts and like different types of outposts but like when it comes to the enemy's health and the damage that they deal and the damage they receive it's all the same throughout throughout the board the all the only way for you to like get like higher difficulties though is you have to beat each difficulty so you have to you have to beat difficulty one to unlock difficulty two you have to beat difficulty two to unlock difficulty three but i mean that's that the average player the average would you hit the button the average player in this game um who plays like casually and doesn't want to sweat their balls off and doesn't you know they just want to play to have fun whatever um place between difficulty four and difficulty seven Like playing with difficulty eight and nine, there, there's no true like benefit to it other than saying like, oh, I did. Like I've done, I've done multiple max difficulty, like level nine operations solo and beat them. But I mean, like I have no need or, um, yeah, I'm no, I have no no desire to uh, sweat my balls off like that every single every single time I play the game. Like I want to play to have fun, you know. I have more fun on like level seven, level level eight. I don't know level eight. I kind of don't really care for level eight. It's either level seven or level nine. That is so many. What the fuck did you do? It's like you pissed off a little anthill. But yeah, again, it's it's not like Destiny or Cyberpunk or any of those type games where like you know the higher difficulty, you know, da 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 da. No, it's the game is very horizontally balanced. It also means the highest level Hell Diver, which the highest level that you can go to is 150, can still easily die on like a difficulty three mission. Because that's just the way the game is. <laughs> Sometimes you just die to the most random bullshit that is just, well, random. If you want to go get your stuff that's over there, you can. I'm just going to push, I'm just going to push the extract. Yeah, friendly fire is always on too. I was playing difficulty three the other day, you know, uh, with crow and crow just fucking team killed me like three times. <laughs> Did you want to go get your, uh, your samples? I don't, I don't know what all you had. Hmm. <clears throat> But yeah, again, this game is very horizontally balanced. So, of course, you know, the higher level you are, the more options you're going to have on like what kind of gear you want to take. But everything, everything is so well rounded, balanced, I guess you could say that it really comes down to multiple things to around the same as something else. It just comes down to what you want to take for like the the mission and taking the same thing every single time for every single mission is probably one of the worst things you can do like taking the same same build same loadout every single time for every single mission is not the way to play I mean, I'm sure people do, but they probably also run into a lot of issues a lot. I don't know. I don't know how to say.
Is that a Hulk? Personal preference and play style. True. Oh my God. Bro, this fucking X-Strike is taking forever. And I have the booster too. Go, 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 go. Pelican 1 preparing to depart. Shuttle launch in 20 seconds. Extraction complete. Pelican 1 beginning ascent. Welcome back, crow. So open for me to join. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna eventually go on um, dif difficulty seven. Just slowly going through these right now, warm uh, warming up and every dang, every yeah, dang, every dang. I think one more, one more mission on this operation, and then we move on to difficulty six. need the xp to level up it's fine i honestly like i think my favorite my favorite three difficulties to play on it really depends on my mood and like what i'm wanting to do whether i'm wanting to like go balls to the wall intense firefights then i want to play difficulty nine right if i'm just wanting to like chill just play the game have fun laugh whatever um but also you know get into firefights and stuff uh difficulty seven but if i'm kind of like warming up or kind of testing weapons or testing you know builds or armor or stratagems or seeing if this works with that or if this does this etc cetera, etc cetera, then difficulty five but i feel like i feel like difficulty seven is a good middle ground I 
I, I only really like doing difficulty nine though, either solo or with a, a, a really good squad. When I say a good squad, I don't mean like, I don't know. I guess people, people who, they don't have to be super amazing at the game and they don't have to have everything. It's more of they, they know what's going on. Like they understand how I was just the hell. What do y'all know about this? What do y'all know about this? What do y'all know about this? Y'all don't know nothing about this. That one kind of confused me for a second. My highest round is 10. My highest is 10. Round 10. Let's see if I can get past it. <gasps> no, 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 I'm freaking out. No, 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 I freaked out. Damn it. These graphics are crazy. Hey, I don't want to hear no shit talk about my graphics, man. My GPU is ass. I can't stream and play the game looking beautiful. At the same time, my GPU is a 1660 and it's seven years old. It's doing its best. No, I got the game. I don't care. You know what? I don't care. I don't care. I don't I don't even care anymore. Talking about your graphics. I don't even want to hear it. You probably got like a freaking 20,000 in video and graphics card. You can probably like I don't know. Everything is so shiny and beautiful, contrasting. Everything probably looks great. I don't want. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Man, I made it to round ten again, dude. I, I freaking, I've messed up. Round ten is the highest I, I, I can go for now. But you saw right there live.
You got the game. You should join. Let me take you to let me take you to max difficulty. Your first your first match, your first game, your first mission. Hell dive. Welcome to hell, motherfucker. <laughs> nah, yeah. Speaking of graphics, though, I do got to get a new GPU, guys. I I I do. Tired of talking about it. Tired of talking about it. I'm tired of dreaming about it. Trying to give that man diver PTSD his first dive. Yeah. Dude, I kind of wish my first time playing was on Hell Dive, but I didn't have any friends that was playing. And plus, I only got the game to have a fun game to play with my brother. The unfortunate thing is, I became addicted. And although, you know, I, I got laid off, so I lost my job. He still, you know, has his. So he, you know, spends a lot of time at work while I'm stuck here contemplating life. <laughs> so I spend a lot of time on this game because I became addicted, even though I hate it. I love it, but I hate it. I hate the bugs. When I say bugs, I don't mean like the terminoids. I mean the actual like game breaking bugs that just drive me insane. I think there's I think there's less bugs and freaking um fuck what what was that game called that space game that Ben Vesta made that I totally forgot about because I can't play it because my GPU's ass that I only got to experience like two hours of and I didn't I didn't even get to play it because my GPU wouldn't let me Starfield yeah. There's more bugs in this game than there were in Starfield. You know what the crazy thing is? People tell me all the time that they don't run into bugs or like they, they only run into like one here or there. Dude, if you've been watching my streams as often as I stream, you would see I run into bugs constantly in this game. They do run into to them, they just don't notice them. I think I think that's maybe my thing. I notice it and then I have to be open about it. It's like this game's great, but it could be better. You know, this game's you know, could be a lot cooler. I don't know. I think I'm gonna be honest, I think it's because a little time ago, it was when I was at work, I was on my lunch break, and I did this for like a week. On my lunch break, every time I would sit in my truck and I would watch these videos on like game devs and you know like creating a you know creating games and everything and how to notice this and how to notice that and da 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 a whole a bunch of videos time wasted. So I think getting like an inside perspective of like developing a game even though I don't I've never done it and I don't fully understand how to do certain things but I I know certain things but I don't know everything obviously. I think that it, it gives me like both a gamer mindset and a dev mindset. And I'm just like, oh my God. I play this game less and less just because I'm sensitive to the bugs. I feel that. I feel that. The first person permascope glitch is my personal scourge. I, I hate that one. It happens so randomly. Thankfully, I've only ever had it happen one time while in a firefight. And it was a disaster. But other than that one time, luckily, it's only happened when um I wasn't in like combat. It was when I was like, you know, off in the distance trying to like th look through the scope to see like something off in the distance. This game is likely a nightmare to fix, but they also seem to be taking their time to fix easier issues. You know what they're doing? They're spending the majority of their time making the next fucking war bond. <laughs> Guys. Guys, we gotta have the next war bond ready. The next war bond's gotta be coming out. It's gotta be ready. It's gotta it's gotta be ready to go. 
We gotta have a war bond ready to go every month. But sir, what about what about the bugs? What about the issues? What about the glitches? It's fine. People people will forget about it once we release a new war bond. <laughs> Next war bond is called fixed fixed democracy. It's going to be called fixed democracy and the war bond when it releases it's all the issues, all the bugs, all the glitches is going to be fixed. Fixed democracy. Yeah. That's what it is. That's what I would name it. Like guys, next war bond is just gonna be a patch to all the major and minor issues, bugs, glitches that all the players keep running into. I hope you enjoy war bond releases, and it's called fixed democracy. <laughs> like I love the game, but you know, I don't know if there's a saying. I feel like there's a saying, but you know, sometimes when you love things, you gotta make fun of it. Or is that when you love something, you gotta let it go? Nah, I think it's when you love something, you gotta make fun of it. Yeah, that's, that, sounds, that sounds about right. Both? It's both? Yeah. When you love something, you gotta let it go, and as it walks away, you make fun of it. <laughs> or, or when you love something, you gotta make fun of it. To let it go. It's flawed without a doubt, but they're going in the right direction. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I mean, like, I'm definitely like totally on the side of, you know, they're they're trying to work on like issues here and there. I just think with how popular the game is right now, all the fixes fixes that a lot of the players are running into, they would prioritize fixing those instead of releasing a war bond, because I already know some people who have literally said fuck this game and uninstalled it because of like glitches that they've run into so they're definitely losing players due to the glitches but also it's still you know it's still a popular game it's still new to a lot of people so they're obviously gaining players as well but it's you know it's a matter of time that if they if they do not fix the issues then they they will lose a big portion of their players you got to think this game came out two months ago it's only a two month old game so of course it's going to be new but a lot of the a lot of veterans who don't take the game super hardcore they will they'll probably just move on i think i'm gonna play the game pretty often i feel like this is a this game is a really good replacement for me from DBD and I feel like I've ended everything on Ghost Recon. I don't know. I know a lot of people are still gonna want me to upload Ghost Recon content on YouTube, but like I just I feel like I'm done with it. I completed the last mission in the game, and I, like I just it feels like Ghost Recon's just done. I can continue Metal Gear though. Are we waiting for Beast to join, or like what are we doing? I don't know. You guys, you guys figure out what's going on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then run to the kitchen. I'd be, I'd be Bjorby.
back. Fuck, I forgot my drink. Damn it. Uh, check Discord. What if I? What if I don't want to? What if I? What if I don't want to? Maybe I don't want to check Discord. What am I doing? I don't see anything in Discord. I'm going to be honest with you. You guys are lying. I sent you a friend request, Beastly. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. Put your pants back on. <laughs> heat seeker? It should be heat seeker. It used to be. I changed it. But I mean, yeah, that's, that's what it, sh it is, I guess. Twelve minutes blitz search and destroy. Find the fabricators, blow them up. Blow up the fabricators. Jelly of Scrow's armor. Yeah. I like it. I like that armor. I don't know what it does, though. Looks like light armor. But I don't know what its effects are. I've never seen it. All the galaxy looks to you for salvation. Let nothing... They all look to me for salvation? Well, I wish they didn't.
All right, fabricators, let's go fuck them up. I'm I'm moving north, northwest. Oh my god. Oh, that's a Hulk. Everybody's Seven, dying. Objective located, northeast. Drop ships. Drop ships, east. Requesting air support. Coming in hot. Five, south. The Hulk's not dead. There he is.
That's a tank. Oh my God, that landed right on me. You gotta push the extract. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Hello?
Just gotta get to the extract. No need to fight that. What do you mean you were stuck? Brother, I'm all the way over here. One minute, holy fuck. said to run not fight true we did say run to the extraction Go, 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 go. Extraction complete. Pelican one beginning ascent. Got stuck through pillars though? I know what that's like. I've been stuck in pillars. I've been stuck in things before. The Blitz missions, man. They'd be crazy sometimes. The Blitz missions are definitely kind of... They're definitely the... Just get in, do the mission, get out. Get in, get out. Get in, get out. The rocket cannon, um, the rocket cannon, it will prioritize bigger targets, but it also pr prioritizes gunships sometimes. In instead of like shooting the targets that's like chasing you or anything like that, it would it would target the gunship or the dropship. Like, I've thrown one down while I was being chased by a Hulk. 
And instead of shooting at the Hulk, it decided to shoot at the dropship. The auto cannon kind of does the same thing, but not not as severe. They kept respawning. Yeah, that's kind of why you gotta you gotta like hit and run. You gotta hit and run. You gotta you gotta you gotta, you gotta shoot who you need to shoot but you just gotta go you just gotta move it's it's a run and gun type thing you just gotta stay on the move take cover stay on the move yeah don't get caught up on unimportant targets as well yeah hey don't get don't don't just stay in one spot and just fighting everything either because they're just gonna keep uh keep respawning keep calling in reinforcements lower difficulties you can probably do that but higher difficulties no you gotta you gotta hit move cover hit move cover y'all wanna do y'all wanna do nine y'all wanna do level nine see <laughs> it's not gonna go well A nine, yeah, yeah. Let's do a nine. Let's let's do a nine, yeah. Do a nine. Welcome to hell, beastly. Hey, I've done, I've done nine solo before, but doing it solo is definitely different than doing it with a team because I feel like, I don't know, doing it solo is good and bad compared to a team. They both, they both have pros and cons. Solo, you, you can kind of, you're able to sneak a little bit more and avoid certain fights compared to a team. What's our effects? Stratagem cooldown increased by 25. Reduce. Oh, here we go. We got an operation where we are reduced stratagem slots as well. We only have three strats. Here we go. Welcome to hell. Three strats. That's right. That's correct. You better, you better take, you, you know, you better take what you think is going to work out for you. I don't even know what to take. I'm going to be honest. Three strats is going to be rough. I honestly don't expect us to make it through this operation or this mission, but I definitely, I definitely want Beastly to get the, the, the experience of what it's like to be on hell dive. Also, I don't know if Crow's been on level nine. Never, well, it was definitely an experience. And this is a bunker mission as well, which is even worse. <laughs> even worse. I don't know what to take, guys. Um, take this. Shield, laser, extraction. 
Switch up my armor. Yeah, all right. The laser is good to throw at a bunker because the laser would target the bunker, but I have seen it not target the bunker before, so it's kind of 50 50. Forty-five second cooldown. Actually, I think uh, I think it was increased for this mission. We're wrong, and it's dark, and I can't see. And we're in artillery range. Artillery. I have artillery marked. I'm going for the artillery. That's got to be taken care of. It's west, northwest. Can't even see. Can't even see it. Got a Hulk on me. I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm dead. I'm not dead. I don't know. I don't even know anymore. Oh, that's a rocket hulk. The mortar's down. The bunker's right next to it, though. That bunker's gonna be a bitch, by the way. Oh, I died. Something just sent me flying into a rock. And the rock killed me. The rock, the Rain Johnson. I just got blown up by a rocket. I walked into it. I saw it and I walked into it. Oh, what the fuck? Sweet liberty, my arm! Eat this! Ragdolling everywhere. Oh, shit. Oh, 
Oh my god. Dude, I just keep getting hit by rocket after rocket after rocket. Holy fuck. You're in pain. Not that bad. It was just a bad landing. But at the same time, you never know where you're gonna fucking land. Because we have like no fucking intel. You just gotta run, that's pretty much it. Oh shit. There's hulks everywhere. Yeah, there's mines by the way. <laughs> This is a big outpost. Bro, hello? Oh my god! I wasted four fucking grenades on that. Can't move. Gotta move, 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 move. Objective located. East, tagging map. Found something. Tagging map. Bro, he's the fly beam. 200 meters. There's a tank right here. Oh. Reinforcing. Did not land where it's supposed to land. I think it bounced off the wall. Request approved. Deploying reinforcements. There's two tanks. I only saw the one tank. But I believe you. The eye of someone has spotted somebody. It wasn't me, because I was able to sneak past it.
We just went through all of the reinforcements in like 30 seconds. Request approved. Deploying reinforcements. Got a Hulk. Hulk left side. Oh my god, those Hulks inside. I'm stuck. I'm not stuck. Calling in reinforcement. Oh, we got gunship towers. Tower. Oh my god. Another tower somewhere? Yeah, there's gotta be another tower. Oh, I see. You don't have to shoot at everything, Beastling. When you shoot at everything, that just makes your day worse. Yeah, it was. It was two towers. You got. We got uh, these gunship towers here. My God, help me, baby Jesus. He was taking me down with it. Holy fuck. I'm just gonna try to take them out one by one because these fucking towers are spawning two at a at a time
I think this one's uh freaking doors are malfunctioning. They can't get their fucking doors open. Which is unfortunate for them. We still, have, we still have a drop ship up in the sky. Oh, fuck. Oh. Got ship down. All right, we have that last bunker. Push that last bunker if we can. And then we're getting the fuck out of here. No ammo. Going down supply. Oh shit, why did it bounce? I never understand why they bounce. What in the hell? Oh, I'm stuck in mud. That's a tank. God. Oh my God.
Well. He just got to throw the reinforcements in three seconds. He's got to throw it. Yeah. Try to throw the reinforcements. Yep. We got to like back up a little bit because if you stay there, we're just going to get surrounded. Yeah, you pretty much just gotta retreat. I would run left. I would run away from that outpost. Yeah, when it gets like super crazy like that, are you the, the only thing you can do is just uh back up, just retreat. Move from cover to cover and just uh retreat. Because if you stay in like that, you know the this the 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 spawns, the patrol spawns, the the drop ships, everything like that, you eventually just get surrounded. As you're just running through a base, this is not this is not really the play. Surprisingly, oh, never mind. So we can say surprisingly hasn't even got shot at yet, but I almost spoke too soon. Ashley, Ashley should be avoiding enemies, but she's running as he's running two enemies. Yeah, you got to survive five seconds. I don't know. I don't know who's going to come down. Not me. I mean, there's still 16 minutes and only one bunker left. At least we were able to take out the uh, gunship towers. If we wasn't able to take those out when we did, y'all would probably be fucked right now. One tower was spawning two gunships. So those two towers was literally spawning four at a time. No heavy weapons or laser loft. If you're able to, you might be able to sneak to whatever gear is on the ground. Like if you're able to sneak around to where I was, maybe. I had a shield and a laser cannon. As soon as I spawned in, I should be able to call down another set. Still have 15 minutes, one bunker left. All we have to do is take it out and run to extraction. So I can't do anything to tanks, towers, or ships. Uh, you can. The towers and the tanks, if you get around to the backside of them, to where their open vent is, um, you can. You don't have an impact grenade, but if you if you cook a grenade and then throw it right before it explodes and it explodes on its vent, you would uh cause damage. Um. Impact grenades would probably be like impact. Impact grenades are great because there's two types of tanks. The uh, a little bit faster tank that uh, shoots lasers at you. That one you can you can uh, blow that one up with impact grenades with just two hits, two grenades to its uh, turret. But yeah, I would say right now, yeah, you probably don't have you probably don't have anything.
you pretty much have to either run away from it let us deal with it I took out some of the turrets on top of the bunker, but it still has like the sidewall turrets. And that thing, those things are very precise with their shots. The cooldown is due to level nine. What cooldown? The rainforest cooldown? No, that's due. We ran out of, we ran out of respawns. You only get a certain amount of respawns, but once everybody dies like too many times, you just run out of them. Dude, why are you following me? I'm trying to sneak around. You have all you have all of them fucking shooting you. Oh my god, you you blew my cover, whoever you are. This is why level 9 is easier solo. <laughs> you can do a lot more stealth stuff solo. Your team eventually just kind of gives you away. Oh my god, I'm surrounded. It did it! I got the barrage to do it! I got the barrage to fucking take it out! Let's go! I was trying to use the traitor... I was trying to use the traitor barrage to fucking take out the bunker and it worked! Yeah, just run. Yeah, that's all you can do. Just run. Don't run to that outpost either. Breaking line of sight helps as well. So what you can do, since there's no reinforcements, what you can do is when the reinforcement timer is down, once he dies, it would respawn everybody. Instead of just one at a time. But he's gotta he's gotta survive at least a minute. And then once he dies, it should respawn everybody instead of You go you go to the blue beam in the sky, that's the extraction, that's where you go. He's got thirty seconds to survive. If he dies before um he throws the reinforce but never then everybody everybody should respond unless they fix that i don't i don't i don't i don't think they fixed it i don't think it's a bug he's gotta he's gotta stay alive 10 seconds once that reinforcement timer is up and he dies um everybody everybody should everybody should respond All right. So now, since we have reinforcements, if he dies, um, everybody should respawn. But if he throws the respawn, then it's just going to be one at a time. Okay, so since he threw that, we're just going to have to... 
do one at a time. He's kind of hoping he killed himself, I'm going to be honest. Or got shot in the face randomly from out of nowhere from the darkness. Just, just a rocket just comes out of nowhere, hits him in the face. Wow, what? What? If he would have died, we would all have just been able to respond. I don't mean anything by it. You know, this is an interesting thing and not many people actually know this and it's kind of inconsistent. But did you know the uh, guard dogs actually give away your position? I don't know if it specifically gives away your position um, easier or if the enemies detect you faster, but it's pretty much the same thing. But apparently it's only with the bots. The bugs don't really detect it. Did you know that? I bet you didn't. All three of those, <laughs> I think, landed on the fabricator. At least my extraction reduced boosters coming in clutch here, maybe. If y'all survive, Pelican 1 should be there before the reinforcement timer's up. So, y'all have to survive for the ship. Get on the ship! Get on the ship! Damn, you just got your head blown off, bro. This is Pelican One, preparing for touchdown. Crow's the only one. Crow, as soon as it gets it lands, you got to get on that. There you go. Yeah, Rover killed you. I'm talking about Beastly. Beastly got his fucking head shot off. Like his head was missing. It disappeared. Completely gone. It got hit by a fucking rocket. <laughs> it got hit by a rocket and his head was just gone. Rover killed you. Yeah, I don't like the Rovers against bots. Rovers, in my opinion, from my experience, rovers are only good against bugs. They're not they're not really great against bots. So you I'm gonna I didn't see that. Also, I, I don't know if it's exactly like that. It was like that when I first started playing, but I don't know if it only works under specific circumstances or what yeah they preventatively blurred it for us so I, I didn't know that's what you said I didn't 
I didn't understand what you were saying. But we actually did it. Thanks for my sacrifice. Thanks to my sacrifice. GG's me. W me. <laughs> no way Crow cleared that. Well, she was actually, unlike you guys, she was actually staying back. Waiting for the pelican. You guys was like up front trying to fight him, then y'all died. GG's me though for you know completing the last objective. Using the, the trader barrage like a pro. <laughs> You're trying to blow the fabricators? Whoa. 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 15 dropships came. Yeah, it's pretty much as soon as like dropships come, you gotta go. You gotta retreat. You can. Uh, once a dropships get called, you gotta. You pretty much gotta retreat and try to hit like a different objective. And depending on how things work out, you know, you rotate around. This mission sucks. This mission sucks. I'm not, I mean, like, I don't mind doing it, but like, it definitely sucks. It's definitely a, definitely a difficult one. I'm a good girl. Listen, I'm told to stay back. Yeah, you are a good girl. Secret secrets. Dude, I'm level 50. Let's go. Um, damn, these two sub objectives are in like, I mean, they're close, but they're in heavy enemy territory. We gotta defend too. We're doing this nine business. I mean, might as well. We've already, we're already committed. We surprisingly beat the first mission. This one's gonna be a lot more difficult though. This one, you have to sit in a spot and defend the area while they just spam drop ships. So I don't think this one's going to be as easy. You have to like defend the area while the 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 thing like mines the ground, whatever. I mean, we can try to land in the, uh, land in the middle and hope for the best. What about here? Land in the middle and hope for the best. We're gonna get a brief from each mission. Uh, whenever we're looking at the map like this, whenever we're looking at the map, it's to the left. It says mission conduct survey. It's a 40 minute length mission, meaning you have 40 minutes to complete it and side objectives if you want. Tells you the description in the region. Orbital bombardment has exposed seams of what appear to be rare and valuable mineral ores. We cannot let the automatons exploit them before the planet is liberated. Get down there and collect source sample data to confirm the material is worth extracting. So we don't have to destroy anything. Uh, I mean, we're still going to blow shit up, but the main mission, no. The main mission is pretty much defending. So we got to go here. We got to ver verify this location and while we are waiting for it to verify we the game will automatically spawn enemies so we have to defend this and then we have to go here and we have to do the exact same thing we have to set there we have to wait for it and we have to defend it and then this one is the exact same thing except for it takes much longer 
and it's more enemies. So I don't think we're going to complete the first one at all. But we shall see. And we only have three strats we can take, so. You bring your damn cannon. I feel that. 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 Fuck, dude. Fuck. I would not test things. Yeah, I, I, I do not recommend testing things on difficulty nine. It's definitely better to test things on lower difficulty. That way you can get a, a better results and stuff. The sniper, the sniper isn't really. Uh, the sniper is a very situational weapon. Like it's good, but it's. It's a it's definitely a, a situational weapon, that's for sure. It's not a weapon I would take if I'm defending with only three strats available. I don't even know what to take, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm thinking laser, but I can only use it three times, so uh. Gonna bring a century. Well, I mean, a century, a century would help with um, defending. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking either either the orbital laser or maybe a century or the rail cannon. But since we have to defend those locations, centuries would definitely be more beneficial. I'm gonna take a sentry and then shield. I think I'm gonna call the EAT instead of the laser cannon. I, I, dude, I'm really liking the laser cannon. I'm, I'm still using it, you know, to get more experience with it so I can have a better opinion on it. But so far, I'm really liking it. But, um, I think I'm gonna bring the EAT because I can throw that down and then, like, everybody can kind of grab it if they need to. I swap personal shield for a team shield. Oh, look at you. Being so unselfish. Unlike me. Once, uh, once my shield backpack is all, uh, it's all cooldown, I can throw it down again and, um, whoever needs it can grab it. If we survive that long. Is that what I think it is? Are we landing on something? Yeah, the we did. Of all humanity's children are in your Do not let them fall. Tower, by the way. They called in a dropship so we cannot stay here. Tower over there. We got to clear this shit out too, by the way. Oh my god, what the fuck just happened? Oh, hey guys. Oh shit. Oh, 
I'm just getting ragdolled. Like that, I see. I didn't know you had it like that. Oh my god, dude, let me get the fuck up. Hello? What the fuck? I couldn't move. I was literally stuck. The EAT didn't take that down. Hello? We gotta take out that fucking gunship, bro. The gunship tower. There's three of them. There's three gunship towers. Shit. Bro, I just keep getting rad dog over like nothing. Bro, the fucking... The freaking... Dude, did they nerf the EAT? It's taking way many more shots to blow anything up with it. I feel like if anything needs to be, you know, really high damage, it would be the EAT. They did? Did they really? When? Dude, it's, it, it just seems so weak. Dude, the recoilish rifle seems stronger than the EAT. Alright. There's gunships in the sky. We gotta take out that tower. There's another one to the left as well. More dropships. I missed. Fucking gunships are back. Going down a support weapon. Reinforcing. 
I'm about to die. Yeah, I'm definitely missing my laser cannon, that's for sure. Can't fucking move. Calling down objective equipment. I am not there. I'm trying to get there. I had hulks between me and you on the way. Gotta be. Gotta be there. Gotta get there. Let me go ahead and call this down. That way it's already on cooldown and I have one already on me. If we can grab supers, that'd be great, but I don't. Oh my god. More hulks! Uh, Y'all got drop ships coming in. That's from the mission. Oh, I got two hulks. I mean, I guess it's better for them to go to me instead of y'all because they was going to y'all. Oh my God, y'all are getting surrounded right now. Oh yeah, y'all got a tank on y'all. And a Hulk. On my position. Thanks, dead. Hulk's dead. Got two more Hulks coming from the southeast.
Oh my god. Who the fuck to my Who the fuck to my other rocket? Oh my god, dude. This is one of those times I wish I had like Eagle Strike or something like that. Man, ammo. Laser would be lovely. Yeah. I think the laser might be better. Would be better than the the centuries, to be honest. Dude, there's four hulks. Oh my god, bro. One Hulk dead. One Hulk dead, two more are still there. And then everything else. Why the fuck are the why the fuck what the fuck hello what the fuck why are there drop ships here what the fuck did you guys do I can't I can't Oh. Oh my god. Did someone land on that Hulk? Down a the ragdoll's rough, yeah, I know. Now you know why I complain about it all the time. We gotta get back to the objective.
All right, now we got to move to the next one. Oh, this is why bots dropped tears because y'all called uh, y'all called this in. I see. This is gonna be the one that's gonna get super fucking crazy. This is this is the one that takes the longest. This one we may have to like get it started and then kind of back out, like get it started and then retreat. Watch out for that detected tower. I don't have a I don't have a five hundred bomb to throw at it. And this is where shit's gonna get crazy, guys. This is where shit's gonna get insane. Worse than what we've already experienced. What about the samples? Fuck the samples. This is difficulty nine. All that matters with difficulty nine is doing the mission and leaving.
You want samples? Uh, that's where you do like difficulty, difficulty seven. Oh my god. Going down a personal shield backpack if someone needs it. Well, like me. Crow killed me. How did Crow kill me? What the hell? You guys got to get you got to hit the terminal. You got to hit the terminal to get the mission like progressing. If we don't hit the terminal, then they're just going to continuously spawn. I got the terminal. Why is there fireworks going off? So you can say this seems easier than it should be and then you know job ship shut up I, I take back what i was gonna say Oh my god. Yeah, tank on top of rock. Holy fuck. Okay, so like this, since we're being overrun, we need to just retreat. We need to just retreat. Let them get out of there. And then kind of go back. You trying to fucking land on me? I saw that. Oh, he just tried to kill me with his drop down. I saw that. Calling down a support weapon. There's multiple tanks on that. We got patrols, patrols over here as well. Yeah, we kind of need to like get like a hundred, two hundred meters away. There's one thing left on the drill. I don't know. I got ragdolled, thrown away, so I, I didn't get to look at it. I was trying to get to it and then a rocket threw me across the map. Yeah. So now the base up here. Gotta be careful of that. It doesn't let me mark sometimes when I press the mark button.
Right, I'm gonna try to push into the uh, objective and see if I can uh, hit the button. Let's go through two more phases. It's done. Move to the extract, extract, extract. I'm going to, I'm going to run south and rotate around that way so I can avoid the eye. I don't have anything to take out the eye other than just rushing it. Unless unless you guys just want to fucking rush the eye. But we don't have any respawns. We just have one respawn. I mean, fuck it. Mission complete. We don't have to extract. Rush the eye. Rush the eye. I'm going to try to take out the eye. Requesting sentry. Requesting air support. Nah. Whoever do the 500. Yeah, when you throw the 500, you gotta like throw it at the proper angle, and then sometimes even then you gotta you gotta hope it fucking lands. Oh, crow did it. Yeah, crow, crow learned from me. Let's be honest, I taught her well. All right, we can push six right. If anybody knows where the supers are, we could try to get them, but. I think I know. I think I know. I think I know where the supers are. I think I know where supers are. I'm gonna try to put. I'm gonna try to push it and see. Oh shit! Dude, they just spawned in front of me out of thin air. He literally just spawned in front of me out of the air. Holy shit. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh, what the fuck? I hate this game. This game is so fucking dog shit, bro. Bro, that's like the 20th time where I throw the fucking beacon and it sticks to me. Like, what the fuck? Like, why is this game so fucking dog shit?
Did I swap weapons? No. I just threw it and it sticks to me. I don't know. The game is fucking ass. That's why. Well, that is not the spawn you want to be at. Yeah, that is not the spawn. The game just like threw you right in them. Ensuring the immortality of managed democracy. So the last staver only responds now. So so they did switch it. Instead of the entire team, yeah, so they did switch it. It was the entire team response. Five minutes left. We can't stay this low much longer, Helldiver. Guys, that's still two missions completed. That's crazy. I feel like I'm doing majority of the work, but that's okay. That one scientist mission we did and we all came back, yeah. I wonder if it's only under certain circumstances, or maybe certain missions. I don't know. Now this is going to be a mission that everyone's going to hate, and I fully understand. If you died, I don't know what the map's going to look like, but if it's a map that has a giant rock that you can land on when you die, try to land on the rock. And that's all I can say. Good luck. You got to go walk the dog. Oh, oh, okay. I see. You're, you're going to leave when it's this mission. I see. You're going to leave when it's this mission. I see. I understand. Let's see. You know what? I'm. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even be surprised if freaking Crow left. To be honest, it's her favorite mission. <laughs> Guys, it's okay. I can do it solo. It, it's definitely not. It's definitely not people's favorite mission. I mean, if you guys want, I can just do it solo, dolo, no problem. I probably, you know, die in a ways. It's all right. We're gonna wait for Ashley to come back. This is gonna take twenty minutes. Uh, I'm not waiting twenty minutes. Yeah, she's dodging. She she literally as she's dodging. As she's like nah. I'm not doing this mission. I'm not doing this mission, guys. You've been giving democracy all your mind for hours? It's been two hours. If that. for four almost five actually no it's only been like two i'm taking a bunch of explosive stuff and i'm going to try to get on top of a rock because i've done this on difficulty nine before and i can assure you that it's not it's not going to go the way you think so i'm taking explosive stuff like um orbital maybe i am I, i'm not going to go sit in the middle of the map and try to defend it that is a very um i mean 
Sitting in the middle of the map is not where you would want to go. If you wanted to do that strat, it's not sitting in the middle. You would want to go to one of the edges of the map, like outside of the edge, and then camp there. Because then you, they would only be coming from either the left or the right. If you sit in the middle, they're coming from all angles, and they can shoot you from all angles. So if you wanted a strat like that, which I have done, even solo, I just threw sentry left, sentry right. But uh, you you would still want to go to around the edge of the map. With my limited stuff, what mainly should I focus on to help? Not dying. <laughs> Do you have any boosters? I don't know. I think the first booster is the ammo one. So if Crow has the ammo one, then you won't be able to, you won't have one. Frank mad at me. I'm not mad at you. I'm just trying to think. I can't fully remember everything that you have in the beginning. He's being in a rag doll, dude. Same, 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 dude. Same, dude. Same, dude. <laughs> Ragdoll and burning is actually the worst. It, it truly is. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not the greatest. <sighs> That's for sure. It's, it's, it's not, it's not the greatest at all. It's not the greatest feeling either. Look, all we have to do is you know, kill as many as we can and don't waste all the resources. That's pretty much it. But yeah, I would say I would say just having three strats is kind of kind of difficult. I mean, you got to think about this. Even the most experienced, quote unquote, veterans of this game usually go out of their way to avoid doing the operations that only give you three strats people hate it and here we are on the last mission of a difficulty nine with a three strat operation people who claim to be skilled and everything at this game literally avoid these operations what does that say what does that tell you you gotta learn to adapt you can only have three strats you can only have three strats figure out you know what you're willing to sacrifice crow if you have anything any other booster to take you should you should take it because i think beastly only has the ammo booster like we used to go wherever the major order sends us and don't really complain you think that but there's actually surprisingly a lot of people who don't even care about the major order there's a lot of, there's a lot of people who just play the game for you know their own reasons some people don't care for the major order obviously since they're like usually on the bug planets that will be as in ts117 oh yeah true I need to get more people. Is Beastly gonna use it? Beastly, are you gonna use the ammo booster or no? Yes. Okay, but you gotta you gotta equip it, buddy. You gotta equip it. Bro, do you have the orbital laser? No. Damn. Laser low key a must pick strat. Depending on the mission, yes. 
I can call in supplies. Everybody can call in supplies. What are you talking about? It's your booster. It's right here. It's your booster. The booster. The booster. The booster. The booster. It's the booster. It's the booster. Booster. The booster. You don't have one? Oh, damn. Okay. Well, bro, you take it then. I think one of the reasons why I don't really care for the laser is because you only you can only use it three times and it has a really long cooldown and it only lasts 20 seconds and there's been quite a few times where I've seen it miss a Hulk and for some reason go for like an infantry guy I landed on a rock you see these rocks like a rock I'm on, those rocks over there, and that's where you want to try to land when you die. See, it didn't even aim. See, the orbital laser didn't even aim for the tank. It aimed for the gunship. I hate the orbital laser. It, it's it's not as good as people think it is. It just looks cool. But it's auto locking will lock onto things where you just questioned. Why are you locking onto that? There's a tank. There's two tanks there. Why would you lock into the gunship? More so when you throw it. I think you're wrong and I'm right. Dude, I threw it right next to the tank and it it targeted the, the gunship. The orbital laser is not as great as people think it is. It's good, yes, but it is not that great. That's why you see me like rarely ever run it because it's it's not it's not it's not it's not as good as like people make it out to be i would rather take the 500 pebble over the orbital laser and you only get three uses out of it i would say it's a mid-tier it, it's a mid-tier mid-tier strat there's definitely better strats over it They all seem pretty interested on me. Why does it bounce? I never understood that either. It got cold? Did it? I'm not sure where you live, but I, I, I don't think you live 
in the south it's pretty warm it, it the weather finally feels like um comfortable like it's not too cold it's not too hot it's like comfortable you know it's like spring as spring air Please don't throw your airstrikes at me. You would knock me off of this or kill me. We're surrounded. I'm, I'm saying don't throw them at me, you dingus. Whatever game you're talking about, I have no idea what it is. I've never even heard of it. Look at that. Get in the mission area. Holy. I'm right here. I'm in the mission. I'm in it. Jesus fuck. Holy hell.
Hello. You got it, 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 you don't got it. Get to the ship. Get to the ship. Get to the ship. Get to the ship. Oh my god. We're all in the ship, right? Oh no, Crow's not. I thought Crow was. What happened to Crow? Crow, I thought you were in the ship. What happened? You got you got in the ship on my screen. Another victory for the right side of history. You got launched into the air? What? In I am pretty sure. No, I'm pretty sure I saw Crow get in and then Beastly got in. And then I got in. Crow's the first one to get in, I thought. And then Beast was the... He was second. Guys, we did it. We did a whole hell dive level 9 difficulty operation. Look at that. And you guys aren't even as experienced or skilled as I am. And we did it. Look at it. <laughs> I'm an asshole. I know. I'm sorry. But we did it. Look. Look, guys. All it took was Ashley to leave. True. Not wrong. But yes, that is what Hell Dive is like. Crow and Beastly. Ash, I can't remember if you've been on Hell Dive or not. Now imagine doing that solo. That's my POV. Many doing that solo. <laughs> but yeah look you you do you do level nine enough times and this isn't just like i don't know maybe i don't think it's just the meat thing i'm pretty sure this is like for most people or a lot of people but i i like i i've probably i've probably done level nine more by myself than with people but when you when you do level nine enough in a lot in all the situations you get in and everything that it fucking throws at you whenever you go lower than nine things seem uh i wouldn't say the term easier but i would say fresher is would that be the correct terminology um A little more chill, I guess. I don't I don't know the correct term I'm going for here. I guess more I don't know relaxed but at the same time things can still get crazy dude it's like I said when the when the automatons came back like when they came back and they started like attacking and everything I was doing a test with something so I went to difficulty one just to just to kind of test something and they freaking called in a a Hulk for reinforcements 
on div difficulty one. I was like, there ain't no way. That's crazy. I thought it was hilarious. Well, I say I thought it was hilarious, but at, at the same time, I wasn't prepared for it because I didn't think I would see a Hulk on different day one. But all right. Uh, BB, beastly. We can tone it down a bit. Look, we did Helldive. What do we do now? Well, you know, we, we continue the mission. We just tone the, we just tone it down a little bit. Because, uh, Beastly literally has nothing. So, we gotta get him some samples. We all kinda gotta get samples, so... We could just tone it down a little bit. Get some samples. Where are the buggers? The bugs... The bugs are over here. The bugs are over here on this side. Um, but no one cares about bugs, except for the bug people. I definitely prefer the, the bot, the bot war. We got Pinta, we got Short Bay, we got Shu. Um, we're still on Martel. I'm going to be focusing, uh, working on Martel until it's liberated. And then I may... I may jump to uh, one of these planets. I mean, I could go to Marfark, but Martel is, you know, semi close to being liberated, so might as well help with that. Plus, I feel like this area might need to be um, kind of prioritized a little bit. But major order changes in seven and a half hours no telling what is going to happen or what is going to change when the major order hits for all we know anything can happen we've seen it in the past literally within the past a week or two where you know the major major order will update and then whatever you know it kicks in makes literally no sense so in seven hours the major order can hit and the bots could be you know, they could push all the way up to here. Who freaking knows? We may have to fight on these planets again. I don't think this planet has been open yet. I don't think we've ever been on this planet. But Vernon Wells and Minkent. Fuck Minkent, by the way. I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna go to Minkent. I'm so tired of Minkent. I'll go there if I have to, but Jesus. I feel like the past like week I've probably been on this planet more than any other planet. Stupid fire tornadoes. Um, Martel is going to be liberated rather quickly or well, not quickly, but within the next couple hours. Uh, Marfark. I wouldn't mind going to one of these planets just to see what the planet's like. Like this one has um, acid rain. Yeah, this one has acid storms. Violent acid storms reduce visibility. So it's pretty much rain, except for it's acid. But it doesn't injure you, it seems like. Hmm. How do you get primary weapons? Um, you, you look at the acquisitions. Okay, so, so if you look at stratagems, stratagems is how you can call in your support weapon. If you want a support weapon, you don't always have to take a support weapon, but having everything unlocked is nice to have options depending on the scenario that you're about to dive into. Um, but yeah, stratagems is how you unlock certain things like support weapons, support backpacks, etc., etc. But your primary weapon, you can unlock those through your acquisitions. 
which would be through this battle pass or this battle pass or this battle pass or this battle pass there you know i say battle pass because in other games they would technically be considered battle passes and that's technically what they are but in this game their uh their name is war bond so the super credits you could pay real money for these but you also can find these in a mission so you do not have to actually buy this stuff it's not one of those games where it's pay to win or anything like that especially considering the game is very horizontally balanced to where almost every weapon is very similar to another weapon except for it may have a backpack or it may not have a backpack or etc etc everything is very similar to another weapon um etc etc but the these super credits you don't actually have to buy these because you can find these in a mission you can find them and once you have you know um so these the superstore is what you would use super credits on you don't have to buy this stuff um but you will use once you save up the super credits which the super credits is the one that makes the blue the blue icon right here you once you have a thousand of those you would spend that 1000 to unlock the um whichever one of these war bonds you want opened if you have the premium version of the game uh whether you pre-ordered or whatever even if you have the standard game you can still upgrade to the premium version um the premium version um comes with this the still veterans one but um yeah, you use, uh, once you have a thousand super credits, you use it to unlock this. And then once you unlock it, you would use your standard metals to unlock these. And then unlock to unlock page two, you have to spend enough credits on page one to unlock page two and so on and so forth for the rest of the pages. But yeah, you already have... You already have the first uh, war bond unlocked by default, which is how divers mobilize. And this is where you would find majority of the primary weapons. You also get some of these uh, super credits. Um, you get 50 and 50 throughout most of them, but some of them are 100. So that's pretty cool. The Punisher, literally page one, you get the Punisher, which is a shotgun. It's a pretty decent shotgun. I do use it as well. And like I said, I, I, I always say this, uh, or I've been saying it, the game is horizontally balanced. If you do not know what that means, it means there is no true weapon or stratagem or armor or anything like that that is quote unquote meta. Of course, people on YouTube like to make clickbait videos saying use this build because it's meta, it's OP. Well, they're wrong. It's all about scenario, situation, preference, play style. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Don't listen to people on YouTube. They're idiots. They just want your click. They just want your view to make money. Anyways, point is, um, let me see. Everything is valuable given you understand how they function and interact with enemy types. True. Also true. The marksman rifle, for example, a lot of people who make these. Uh, OP meta weapon videos always say the marksman weapons are you know trash never use them don't use them etc etc I personally enjoy using the marksman rifles yeah I do think they are a little underpowered and should have a little bit more damage or just something that makes them a little better than like an AR but at the same time I do enjoy using the the marksman rifles specifically the um the diligence uh this is probably my favorite one the counter diligence one i do think is ass uh only only because of its really slow weapon sway which is very similar actually i think it's almost the same as the the eruptor the eruptors like trying to aim like its weapon sway is really slow so if you get into open combat that's like close to mid range, like I do most of the time, um, it's it's not really a weapon you would want because you can't you can't quickly switch between targets when it's like close to your face. 
you're using the one from the new uh pass yeah so the eruptor again it's good but it's not op it's not meta like these people say it is it's not it's good yes but it is not op and it's not meta it's definitely not a gun that i'm going to be taking on every single mission because it's it's not that you're using this one i actually don't really like this one i've tried it and it was okay but it was very underwhelming i was expecting like i'm pretty sure the the diligent does more damage than this gun um there was one of the the small skinny infantry guys it took five shots of this thing to kill it. it took five shots to kill it it was it, it, but I will say when I switched this thing to full auto and I used it in close to mid-range combat it was it, it was a pretty decent assault rifle I guess you could say but when it comes to a, a marksman shooting mid to long range it was it was it was it was a low tier I guess very underwhelming the eruptor is um I definitely don't really use this as a primary that's for sure I kind of use it as a support but um uh, like if I'm going to do like the 15 minute blitz mission like this is not the gun I'm taking this is not because like although it could be a good gun but if you get very unlucky with your spawn or if you keep dying and you keep you know reinforcing coming down this gun is going to be the gun you're going to hate the gun am i you know, you know like i i usually take shotguns on those missions how's crossbow i haven't unlocked the crossbow i would be honest i'm a well i can unlock the crossbow now uh, might as well i guess fuck it um, I feel like the crossbow is going to be very similar to the Eruptor, except for since it's just crossbow and not a, you know, a DMR. I I feel like it's going to be very similar. So you have a very similar playstyle, except for it will have reduced range and maybe reduced accuracy. I'm not too sure about that. So I can I can take the crossbow on a few missions and see how it is see how it is you know what i'm saying see how it is get some experience with it etc etc i'm gonna be honest i'm not a big fan of too many stuff in the new war bond well i'm I, I don't mean it's like bad or trash it's just like nothing really I guess it's more of nothing really piques my interest in a way like it's like oh yeah it's cool but like i would rather use something else oh yeah it's all right but I would rather use something else. Oh, yeah, it looks cool, but I'd rather wear something else, you know? Your opinion is changing with Thermite. See, that's another thing. Like, the more you use something and the more you kind of test it and everything like that, and you try to fit it into your play style or your loadout or whatever, whatever, your, your, your mindset would definitely change. I know when I first used the Eruptor, I had a pretty negative uh, opinion on it. But that was because I, I didn't know its weapon sway was so, you know, slow. So I, I immediately had a negative opinion on it. Because I was trying to, like, run a gun it, like, close. And uh, its uh, slow weapon, weapon sway threw me off because I wasn't expecting it. But now that I've been playing with it more often, and I've kind of adjusted to its slow weapon, weapon, uh, weapon sway. Uh, I kind of like it. It's definitely not a gun I would take if I was trying to do a quick get up, get up in your face, run a gun type shit. But it's definitely, uh, I like the gun more on being able to just destroy uh, fabricators. Like it's probably, it's probably one of my favorite things. Like if I'm wanting to like destroy fabricators and stuff like that, it it's the gun I'm taking. How is the liberator concussive? Don't know. Never tried it. Don't know. Never tried it. All right, Ash. It's almost been 20 minutes. Where you at? You know what? Don't tell me. I'm a I'm gonna get up, and stretch, cause my back hurts. And I'm gonna take some more medicine.
because for the ones who don't know i i've you know been feeling a little a little sickly the past few days so i'm gonna go take some medicine i'll be right back and uh yeah brb
destroyer has joined squadron. Engaging orbital thrusters. Orbit synchronized. back oh it takes so long that medicine sucks dude our mouse was so far away this planet with their mechanized brutality. Dive to the surface and end them. Uh. A worthy choice. Raj, this, this, actually. This. This. And then. You like the laser cannon? I do like it? I do, I do.
Oh yeah, I want to take the crossbow. I wanted to try the crossbow out. Try the crossbow, see what it's like. I still imagine it's like the eruptor. Pro left. Yeah. So you should be able to just rejoin though. Hello, world. Today, the light of liberty will grace the skies of this world once more. Requesting tap pack. Attacking map. Northwest. 200 meters. I'm pushing northeast. Let me see what this is like. Definitely shorter range. Found something. But I don't have to I don't have to shoot and reload. <clears throat> or pull the bolt back like on the eruptor since the eruptor's, you know, bolt action. Got a jammer up here. And a radar station. Try to get the radar first. And actually jammer first. The radar is going to be within the jammer's range. What we can do. Get them to call a dropship over there, then we attack the jammer. That doesn't work. Can you not destroy this with a crossbow? I was trying to destroy it with a crossbow. Why did you do that? Engaging terminal. It, it wouldn't destroy it for some reason. Can the crossbow not? That wouldn't make sense. Supplies first. Supplies. Right, now we can activate it. Calling in 
Can I stop climbing random things? That'd be cool. That'd be pretty cool. If I didn't just climb everything I saw. Yeah, so that's the noise that they get suspicious of. The artillery gun, it starts moving. location. I need a bunker, buddy. Supplies. Supplies. What? Cancel that. Affirmative. 
Super credits. Yeah, fuck that place. That place just got bombed to oblivion. Sending in an eagle. Unleashing Fabricator, Northwest. Hmm. 
Oh, that's a tank. I have no grenades. The crossbow can't take out the uh, fabricators. Which is disappointing. you think it would but like even like i i had one go pretty much inside blow up and it didn't take it out hmm Someone just killed me and it wasn't a bot. Who took my weapon? To kill the big guy. Your primary kills the big guy. Just aim for the head. Yeah, those guys you can still kill with the uh, primaries. It's the it's the like the hulks that uh take other stuff. The hulks are like the big bulky, big big bulky guys.
Oh, that is a tank. Oh my god. It blew me up. It blew me into a box and the box killed me. Beastly, what are you doing running off on your own? That's why you're gonna die, brother. You do not have the experience or the skills to run off on your own right now. That is 100% certain. One Hulk dead. Two Hulk dead. Oh my god. Fuck. Yeah. I just killed myself pretty much. Dude, I keep killing myself. I love it. Dropping a pin. 
Extraction is available. I don't know what that was. That was crazy. Stuff just blowing up. Gotta watch out for those mines, you know. Trigger fingers itching. I mean, there's bots around here somewhere you can shoot. Oh my god. I'm getting on that bitch. I have all the samples on me.
that felt so easy compared to the others that's because you had us and when i say us i mean specifically me It was the difficulty nine. That was difficulty six. But to be fair, yeah, I mean, us three being there is what made it feel easy. We had we um we had stuff that could really knock things down. I killed myself like three times by accident. I'm not a fan of the crossbow. I think it's all right, but it's... Dude, I couldn't get it to blow up a fabricator. No matter what angle I shot it at. And it was actually kind of weak against, like, the oh, Devastators. Like, the Eruptor seems to do more damage than the, uh... Crossbow. I don't know. It's, uh... I don't know. I would have to play around with it more, but... It not being able to destroy fabricators is kind of what kills it for me. Uh, good night, Crow. Fun playing. Good night, Crow. Of course, of course, of course. Hell divers to hell pods. Repeat. Hell divers to hell pods. Of course, of course. <laughs> Where do you unlock boosters? The same place you unlock uh, the weapons in the Wekwe uh, Shoshans thing. Like your very first booster would be the ammo one. Uh, what's the mission we're doing? Destroy bunkers. Oh, okay. I see, I see. Bunkers it is. Bonkers it shall be. Uh after this you smoke deer. That's so gross. I don't want to know that. That's disgusting. Did the barrage I think the barrage blew a bunker up last time. So I'm gonna take a barrage and <laughs> And see if it does or not. Ew. Um. I don't know. I'm going to be honest. Instead of the, this, maybe the precision strike instead. I'm actually curious if the precision strike will destroy a uh, detected tower as well. I assume it can.
Yeah. You were just gonna 380 every base. That's actually not true. I only 380 two bases. Because the, the 380 is on. Uh, I think it's on like a three minute cooldown. Yeah, I think the 380 is a three minute cooldown. Enemy artillery. Coming from the northeast. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Coming from the northeast. Tagging map, northeast, 100 meters. Right here. Oh my god. Artillery's dead. There's like two tanks there as well. Affirmative. Thank you. Oh, what the fuck? Dude, I thought I reloaded. But that precision strike takes forever to land. I didn't realize that. What's up, Cry? How is Mr. Streamer? I'm all right. Feeling a little tired. That's why I like the Eruptor. You can you can get it at it. You can destroy the fabricators at some crazy angles compared to like the uh, auto cannons and stuff. That is a bunker. I'm gonna try to get this uh I'm trying to get a barrage going on this bunker. Oh my god. Have been launched. 
Hello, guys. What the fuck? Where am I? Holy shit. I feel like that laser is wasted. This is the base you would want to throw the laser on. This one has four hulks in it. Very elusive. That guy was very elusive. Oh shit. Orbital inbound. Firing orbital barrage. Clear the area. Requesting sentry. Tagging location. Cancel that. East. Bot fabricator. Oh my god. Calling in Jesus.
Gunship tower. Oh my god. Oh, shit.
That was your barrage. This. Oh, well, there's still a fabricator back here. A lot of them in here. I just want to destroy the fabricator, but I don't know where it is. I don't see it. Where's this fabricator at? What? Oh, it's on that side. I see. We are done here. Oh, that's a Sam site.
Who keeps calling down the resupply and not calling it out? The resupply is for the entire team. Remember that. And every time I've tried to throw one down, it's always on cooldown. And then I'm like, where the fuck is the resupply at? Yeah, the the resupply is a squad thing. It's not a it's not a personal thing. You did call it out. I was probably too busy looking for the fabricator, dude. I ran around the entire base and I didn't see it until you finally marked it. Oh man.
Do I want backup? I mean, we don't really need it. This is only difficulty six. But I mean, I don't, I don't care if you join. But it's definitely not because we need it or anything. We just did a we just did a level nine difficulty operation and then now i turned it down to six to try to get samples because beastly he just got the game so he has like no samples of any kind so we went on a different di difficulty yeah literally beastly's second mission was I, I took him on fucking i took him on fucking difficulty nine his second fucking mission literally been in the game for like 20 minutes and i took him in the hell dive <laughs> it was rad yeah like i said once you go to hell dive and you do that difficulty like going to other difficulties like lower ones things just feel different things can still get crazy and intense but like hell dive it's like as soon as you land things are crazy but you have very little very little to low like very low chance of like extracting with like samples and stuff so whenever you play hell dive it's mostly just to speed run the missions and get out that's what most people do. They speed run uh, the objectives on Hell 9, on uh, difficulty 9, and then they just get out. And if they want the samples, they just do like 7, maybe 8. But difficulty 9 is mostly speed run fucking the main objective and get out. All right, we can uh, we can go to the extract, by the way. God, dude, I can't wait until the day I get a new GPU, bro. Playing this at like fucking 20 FPS with shitty ass graphics is killing my head. Hurts my eyes. I can't believe like I'm playing with like 20 FPS. Definitely not easy. Just imagine me on like 100 FPS. Imagine. You just want to do stuff. Uh, if you want to sneak back to it, you can. I'm not going to call the extraction. I'm just going to clear it. You may proceed to extraction when ready. Mission at 10 minutes remaining. Tagging map northwest. Oh. Calling in orbital strike. Firing orbital strike. I just got a 45 kill streak from that. Look at, look at, look at that shit, bro. Look at that. 45 motherfuckers. It's because the it's the middle of the map, dude. It's interesting how some um some of the um stratagems the the enemy would detect they, like they will automatically know where you are no matter what. Like, I could be behind this rock, throw like an eagle airstrike. They can't see me. They don't know where I am. As soon as it lands and the beam goes up, they know exactly where you are. It's things you can't avoid. It's just the way the AI is coded. But there's some things, like the precision strike, they they don't detect it. So it's like... So it's like they, they detect... 
I feel like they detect Eagle Strike stratagems, but they don't detect Orbital stratagems. Yeah, I don't think they detect orbital stratagems until like these, like, I think orbital stratagems are, um, I guess in a way these, the stealthy strat, cause I've been able to throw freaking barrages in a base and then they get bombed and then they like, they don't know where I am, but I throw a freaking 500 bomb in and then they know exactly where I am. Bro, why are you running so fast? Hell yeah, brother. Dude, I've been tempted to go get on my brother's computer and just play it from my brother's computer. And like stream it. Just stream it from my brother's computer. Because he has a much better GPU than I can uh than I have. Do it. I can't. I don't know his password. But he has a he has a better GPU. I launched you forward into the bot. No, I shot the bot, but for 
I don't I don't know. It's very inconsistent sometimes, but sometimes like if you get like if something in front of you explodes and you should get thrown back, sometimes it for some reason throws you forward. So when I shot the bot and it exploded, it I was expecting it to throw you back so I could get a, a clear shot. But it threw you forward for some reason. I didn't think the last shot would have actually killed you though. Yeah, launch forward from behind. Yeah, it's because I shot I shot the I shot the bot and then like it launched you forward for some reason. It happens all the time. I set you up? No, I didn't set you up. We all we all share samples, so whenever I grab samples or Ash grabs samples or picks up metals or anything like that, we all share it. So even though I pick it up, it the whole team gets it. You just have to extract with it. So like there there's nothing you gain personally when playing with a squad. Like it's all shared. It's like the resupply. It's like you have your own personal stratagems that you pick and you go in and you can use, but the resupply is a team stratagem. So if you throw down the resupply, then it's on cooldown for everybody. That's why I try to call the resupply. Like when we're all grouped up and we're not like being hounded by like enemies everywhere. I, I try to throw it down so we can like kind of regroup, regather gear and ammo and then push forward. And I try to, whenever we, we take over an outpost, like we completely destroy it. I try, if it's not on cooldown, I try to throw a resupply in that too. So if we ever get pushed back, we can kind of push back to that outpost and use it as cover. That's what I try to do, but sometimes it's on it's on cooldown so I, I don't get to throw it i never i never try to throw the resupply down in the middle of nowhere while we're all in combat there's maybe like a handful of times where i i have to because i literally have no ammo because i was able i was unable to get ammo and stuff from uh previously because someone threw the resupply down out of the middle of nowhere but yeah, I, I always try to use it when it's like we're, we're grouped up. Above our names, our resources are visible. If it's not in the red, no need. Well, there's no need to just have the resupply available at all times either. It's good. It's actually better, like if you're in, for example, if you if you push into an outpost and you take it over, it's good to go ahead and throw a resupply down there. If you don't gather all the supplies for it and it's still there, later you might have to push back or you may come across it again and you can grab the supplies. You know, it's good to have the resupply crate kind of scattered throughout the map just in case you ever get pushed back to that area or you know you have to run back across the map for extraction or the other objective or whatever you can run by this you know outpost that you cleared earlier that has like you know a little bit of supplies left that you can just grab real quick instead of throwing down a full resupply you know Them rotations do be nuts. I agree. I agree. I do agree. I suppose. These stems and grenades were on opposite ends of that huge sound post. Yeah. Again, that's that's kind of where it comes back down to like. There's a big ass outpost, and there's a small one or a medium one that we you know cleared before. You know, if, the, if I throw down a resupply right there, if you're in the middle of the battle and you run out of stems, you can push back to that empty outpost where, you know, a little bit of supplies are left over. You just run back to it and grab what's left. 
That's that, that's the idea of it, anyways. It's what I do when I play solo on level nine. It it, it definitely helps out a lot. Because I mean, like you can't you can't stand there and just fight everything that the game throws at you. You you will either run out of ammo, run out of stems, and then die, or you just die. That's why it's good to always have something, whether it's a century or supplies or something at an outpost. And you can always run back to an outpost and use it for cover to either, you know, break line of sight, continue running, you know, let the let the enemies lose you. And the enemies despawn, by the way. In case in, in case you didn't know, the enemies do despawn. Um, so like if a job ship gets called onto a base and you you run away you run away from that base you run away before they they land or whatever and you go fight a different outpost in the middle of the uh the map or on the other side of the map or whatever if you go back to that base or that objective or whatever where they called in uh reinforcements they would be gone the the enemies that you know originally spawned there might still be there or if there's fabricators there, the fabricators would, of course, have spawned more. But the reinforcements despawn. That's why it's always good to, like, uh, to retreat for cover instead of standing there and just dying for no reason. Kind of rotate around. Retreat, rotate around, and hopefully by the time you get back, the like, the hulks and the tanks and everything... They hopefully they they either despawned or they kind of drifted off because sometimes they do go you know if they can't find you they they just go on their own patrol. Uh, but even then, once they go on their patrol, they just go to the edge of the map and despawn because that's what patrols do. When patrols spawn in, they are path to go directly to the player to try to cut you off or to try to make you detour a different route. But um, if they never spot you on their, you know, patrol path, they literally walk in a straight line all the way to edge of the map and then they just despawn. The only ones who are not despawning are the infantry, you know, uh, the little guys, the ones that fucking shoot the flares up. Those, for some reason, whenever their patrol despawns, they will turn around and walk to the to the middle of the map so all the all the infantry guys you see in the middle of the map after like being in the mission for 10 20 minutes those are all the patrols that spawned that you never encountered that went to the edge of the map like the hulks and whoever was in that patrol they despawned but the infantry guys and they they went back in you know they went back to the middle of the map aliens i guess i don't know that's what it looks like Dude, I threw that one precision strike in the middle of that group and got 45 kills. <laughs> By the way, samples are capped for the ones you didn't know. Common samples, I think, are capped at 300. Rare samples is capped at 100. And I don't know what super is capped at. Super's probably capped at 50 or it's capped at 100. Common is 500 and rare is 300. Super rare is 100. Are you sure? Because yesterday I was at 300. I went into a mission, got common samples, came out, and it was still just at 300. Like it didn't, like it would not go over 300. And my rare wouldn't go over 100. Like my common and my rare just, they, they just wouldn't go up anymore. It was, it was, uh, unless I was bugged, I don't know, but yeah, I was capped at 300 and capped at 100. I was like, huh, that's weird. So I did another mission and, uh, yeah. And when I, when I finished the mission, I finished with like 11 common and like 13 rare. And when I came back, it was still just 300 and 100. It didn't change. Can y'all do this? Y'all saw me earlier get to round 10. Y'all do the, the stratagem hero. Y'all got it. 
I don't think you got it. Yeah, don't stand right there, beast. Don't stand right there. When you stand on that side, your character blocks the camera. And then they can't they can't see it. You have to yeah, you have to stand on like the left side. Either stand on the left side or like stand like right here. But yeah, if you stand right here, then you kind of block the camera. Oh, Ashy's fucking up. Ashy's fucking up. Oh, Ashy. Man, that was the resupply one. Damn, I can't believe you messed up the resupply. The one that you use all the time. Every time. Every time you get the chance to. Every time it's not on cooldown, you throw that bitch. I thought you would know it. <laughs> it was a Freedom, Arizona. How's it going, brother? It's literally all the stratagems you can use. Yeah. It's a good way to practice, but yeah. There's definitely a difference between doing this right here and then doing it in the battlefield. That's for sure. You didn't get past round four. You quit? Oh man. I mean you gotta at least you gotta at least pass my round, right? You gotta you gotta, you gotta at least get to round ten. That's as high as I've gotten is round ten. Beastly your turn. You gotta get to round ten. If you can't get to round ten, you're off the team. Off the squad. This <laughs> beastly is just like I'm out. Nah, come on. I want to see how high you can get. It's good practice anyways. Also, I don't know if you're playing your console or PC. Oh. Well. I mean. I mean. I mean. Um. Okay. Ash, you don't look. For Super Earth. <laughs> oh, you're on round two. Another day in paradise. I feel that, brother. I feel that. Them. So what I recommend what I recommend you doing is going to your keybinds and this will be able to help you use your stratagems as well when you're in the battlefield. You don't have to you don't have to stop and do it. So go to your keybinds. Go to I think it's combat. No, it's no, it's under general. Go to general, go down to your stratagem. And then put your your uh, stratagem buttons on your arrow keys. So obviously put up as up, down as down, left to left, right right. Um, because when it, you know whenever whenever you open up your stratagem thing and you're trying to like in combat, you can't move because it's the same buttons. You know, it's WASD, and you move with WASD. So yeah, put them on your arrow keys. Now, I don't know what button you have your actual stratagem thing, what, you know, actually opens up the stratagem, but I have mine on mouse five. That way it's on my mouse. Wait, Frank, you're a level 50? Yeah, dude. I've been playing the game for two weeks and I'm level 50 already. I've become addicted to this stupid game and I love it. Round two, baby.
Nah, it's an it's awesome game. It is an awesome game. There's bits, there's things here and there that I complain about, but overall, it's an awesome game. I love it. What was that? You got to round two? Do you play this game, by the way, Arizona? Uh oh. Dang. Just clutched it at the end. No, you're too poor. Ah, I feel that. I need a new GPU, but I'm too poor. Oh, you have an Xbox? Oh, yeah, th this game is an Alpha Xbox. I forget, I forget. You know how many more players would be on this game if it was for Xbox? So many. Dude, Xbox... Xbox would freaking eat this game up. It would remind a lot of Xbox players of, like, Halo and stuff. What round did you get to? Round four? After the third round, your fingers get lost. Yeah. Dude, my eyes start going cross after, after like round three. Oh shit. Ah oh, shit. <laughs> I messed up. Damn. Round nine. 
Yeah, round 10. Round 10 is as high as I've gotten. As the new weapons, I think they're okay. The Eruptor is probably my favorite, but only because it's nice to it's nice to use it to take out fabricators, but that's about it. The crossbow seems kind of weak. Um, I couldn't even get I couldn't even get the crossbow to take out a fabricator. No matter what angle I shot it at, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. But the Eruptor, it, it makes it so easy to destroy fabricators. You can hit it from almost any angle. Like it's easier to destroy fabricators with uh, the Eruptor compared to like the auto cannon. Um, but other than that, I think everything's kind of mid tier. I'm gonna be honest. How do you get the machine? You have to, uh, you have to upgrade to the premium edition. Come on, Beastling. You gotta get that practice in. I didn't rage. What do you think? You say so. I mean, it's good practice, that's for sure. Are they gonna add a new RPG? I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea. I don't think they will. I don't think they have it. I don't think they, mm, I don't know. I don't think they need to. You're getting there. <laughs> What's your highest round? Three? Four? That one just now? What, what was the round? I didn't see. Round one? RPG with a uh, custom grenade in the RPG. You've seen the footage of it. I thought that was already added. I could be wrong. Yeah, round one. Yeah, I knew it. Beastly needs to kind of practice with it anyway since he put it on his uh, arrow keys. You hate the arrow keys? Is you you got to get used to it. It took me uh, a little bit to get used to it, but I'm telling you, it, when you're like in a mission and you're being shot at and you got to throw something, it helps out. Because you can you can actually move and then 
also still use the stratagems. It's definitely better because that's how you try to move, yeah. Because if you have it on WHD, you're just gonna die. You just you're just gonna die. You're not gonna be able to use the. You're not gonna be able to like call in the reinforcements while being shot at, because you're just gonna have to stand still. Oh, hello. That's my, that's my, that's my manhood right there. That's my, that's where, that's where I keep my freedom and my democracy. You're touching my democracy right now, brother. You want some democracy? can't post the link not in chat just just send me what the title of the video is and i'll look it up problem what's the problem here comes the excuses problem is my keyboard is rotated like 45 degrees because like skill issue Brother, my democracy. Your first game was CS. I've never played CS. My first PC game was Fallout 4. Yours would quake. No divers to insane links. 15 plus in your own list. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know what you're talking about. Man, move over. I had a mess up, y'all calling me hacking. 
how to mess up. You know what I'm saying? Hacks won't mess up, right? I kept fat fingering. Oh shit, I fat fingered. That's my fat. That's my fat. That's my fat finger right there. I messed up. Dude, I was eating freaking potato chips and my my fingers are a little like greasy from the potato chips. No excuses, man. Y'all saw me get to round ten. I don't. I don't, I don't want to hear it. Y'all can't get me past. Y'all can't get past round two. I don't want to hear it. Greasy fingers slipping, fat fingering. But, dude, I'm literally fat fingering the same fucking button. Oh my god, dude. Dude, it's it's the down one. I keep fat fingering the down key. Anyways, y'all saw me get to round 10. I don't want to hear it. Skill issue cry. You can't even get past round four. Shut up. I'm, pro I'm probably the only person y'all know personally that can get to round 10. All right. So <sighs> I don't want to hear anything. I don't want to hear anything. He has skills that cross over. What skills? Man does this like collectively three hours a day. I do not sit at the strategy gym thing for three hours a day. I just got this thing like two days ago. I think my brain cell just burned. Honestly, understandable. W me.
W Frank, exactly. God, I almost messed up. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. We're playing PC or PS5 PC. What snacks did you get? Yeah, but you've been using the strategies for a minute. Mm. Yeah, Doritos, Starburst, different steel chips. What the hell? All that sounded good, except for the Starburst. Man, I said for crowd to join, and he he, he he said no. I was gonna make a comment about joining, and then when I say he can join, he doesn't join. So I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear anything. You even all that for the game? Yeah, cause you're a big cry baby. You cry. What are you gonna do? You cry. She asked, she asked me. I did say that you could join. I said it twice. The first time was like, oh, you know, we don't really need backup, but you know, you can join. I said that. And then another time I was like, yeah, you can join. And then you didn't. You instead alt f forward and then cried for like an hour. And then you came back. <laughs> he was like, oh, I'm gonna go cry. I feel like y'all hurt. Wah, wah, wah. The first one passive aggressive, dude. When I'm when am I not passive aggressive? <laughs> Always. Fuck you mean, bro. Fuck you mean. Uh, we are blowing shit up. We are actually, what are we doing? Yeah, we are hunting the fabricators. Fabricating hunting. You're not in front of the TV. Bro, what the fuck? Dude, look, we got we got Beastly to level eight in like two hours. Or probably less than that, maybe like an hour. I feel like I've spent more time just sitting on the ship than us actually being in missions. But we've been doing like, we did the whole level nine operation and then we did, uh, we did a four, then we did the nine. And then now we're doing the six. Actually, are you really not at your freaking whatever the fuck you play on? Looks like Princess Leia as the bounty hunter. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, though? Like, what? How is that like Princess Leia's bounty hunter outfit? That's not even close. It's not even close, bro. It's not even. Not even. Hello? If anything, it would be more like this. If anything, it would be more like this. 
Where is it? It'll be more like that, bro. No, dude. What the hell? What the fuck? No, not even close. Not even close. It'd be this one. Crazy. Crazy. I won't talk to you no more. Don't talk to me. I'm a rock. I'm gonna rock this camp. You know why? Because it reminds me of my C7's paint color, paint scheme. You know, the split. So this is my camp from now on, forever. Bitch. You really want me to kick you? Jesus. Get out of here, nerd. <laughs> Ashley didn't make the cut. That's too damn bad. For you. And I wish I had some chill. Think about. I'm thinking about like those freaking tortilla chips. I ain't got anything. Um, I could throw a laser at someone's face. That would be cool. I'm gonna take that. Then I'm gonna take. And then I'm gonna take eagle. And then and then and then I'm gonna take a shield. Actually, I don't. I don't. I don't really need the shield. I'm gonna be honest. So with that being said, I'm going to take precision rail cannon, maybe barrage instead. Maybe. Cluster. Maybe. Yeah, I'm going to take the cluster. Then the laser. And pretty good to me, bucko. Let go. You still ain't got no booster? Man. Lord Christ, who hasn't joined? Man, I don't even want to hear it anymore. You know what? You're not invited to my birthday party. Bitch. All right, Beastly, I got you. I saved your life. Right, we got eight, dude. Eight fabricators. Oh man, dude, I'm I'm just gonna rush it. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. Who's shooting at me and why?
Who's shooting at me? That's not what I want. Mission at 10 minutes remaining. 10 minutes remaining. Watch the mines. Alright, if you can get to me, we can resupply right here. Something big is shooting at you. Something very big is shooting at you, and I can't see it. Oh, I see. Okay. Just rotate right, rotate right. Watch for the mines. Watch for the hole. Shit. What is shooting at me? We gotta push that fucking gunship. That's one way to get there faster. Oh, I missed. Dude, the weapon sway of this gun is so slow. L look at this. So slow. Good. 
I'm assuming a mine killed someone. Five minutes left. We can't stay this low much longer, Helldiver. Calling in a hell bomb. Trying to get a resupply here as well. Got a gunship coming out. On the other side, I can't see it. I think it's going for you, Cry. I can't. I can't see it. Gotta get that resupply. I need it. Resupply is here, though. Man, there, uh, there's a, a fabricator soon, that big outpost that we apparently did not get. I'm going to go back for it. Y'all want to try to push that freaking uh, anti-air. Yeah, it's over there. You just took a rocket to the face. Extraction's right there. Yeah, we might as well just go to extraction. Alright, I see you in Arizona. I hope you have a good day, good morning, good night, depending on your time zone. Thanks for dropping in. Hope you enjoyed your time here. Definitely suggest you getting this game as soon as you have the uh, ability to. Did they change something about your capes getting torn or something? Cause like I haven't like all day today, like my, my cape hasn't been getting torn or anything. Like, did they, did, did they like deactivate that or something? So I thought that was a, a really cool thing was like your cape getting torn and stuff. But, um, yeah, all day today. My, my cape hasn't been getting torn or anything. Oh my god.
Thank you for the stream and I enjoy your stream. Man, I appreciate that. I truly do. I appreciate everybody who watches. Whether they watch it live or they watch it like as a video slash VOD. I appreciate the lurkers as well. I know a lot of people watch and um you know they just watch and vibe out. They don't really chat, which is totally okay. I watched it in the past. What? 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 <clears throat> what did what did you just say? No, what's up, Scarlet? By the way. We did it. We added value. We added impact to this freaking planet. Let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> Anybody would like to contribute to um, the tip jar for Frank's new GPU? That'd be great. Is holy fuck. This is a pain in the ass. The freedom of the galaxy remains in jeopardy. Let us join the fight. The bots have this world in an iron grip. <coughs> an no iron grip. No way, no shot. No way, Jose. Can't believe it. How much do you uh, receive from biddies? I'm gonna be honest. I don't really know. I don't really know. I actually don't know. <laughs> A successful operation. Liberty rings true this day. I know biddies biddies add to Twitch's paycheck. So like for example, Twitch um everyone who receives a paycheck from Twitch, it's usually anywhere between the 13th and 15th. So uh biddies just add to that. So like if you were to donate biddies to a streamer today, they wouldn't technically receive it until like the 13th. Compared to like a, a donation, you get donation like instantly. Beastie, thank you for the freaking 700 bits, by the way. I, I don't even, I truly don't know much about bits. I've really, I've rarely received it. I've rarely received bits. It was always more like I've always received uh, subs, gift subs, uh, and donations. I'm not. I'm. I don't know much about bits other than other than that. Everyone do their taxes. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about taxes. I don't want to talk about it. We're not here to talk about taxes. Thank you for the 700 bits, by the way. Engaging orbital thrusters. Orbit synchronized. I don't I don't want to talk about taxes. I don't nope. Not here. Not here, buddy. Donation is more uh, profitable, but gifting is so fun. I mean, me personally, I appreciate either either war. It's whatever like the person wants to do. But when it comes to if someone wants to, uh, I guess you can say support, you know, support the streamer that they're wanting to support like right now. Um, a donation would be the way to go. 
because subs gift subs biddies all add up to the check that the the streamer gets once a month by the way which only pays once a month and it's anywhere between the 13th and the 15th of the month so long long term subs gift subs bits etc etc uh help and it just gets thrown onto that check and then donations is like right then right now type thing for the ones who didn't know a lot of people didn't know that stuff hello scarlet tipped 55 dollars i enjoy donos i enjoy donos dude Scarlet, you didn't have to freaking donate anything. I was just trying to explain it for the people who didn't understand. Scarlet, you freaking legend. Coming out of nowhere, by the way. Where have you been? Thank you so much for the freaking 55 donation. Totally unnecessary. Where have you been? You just came out of, you just like you just like Randy Orton just coming out of nowhere, just freaking delivering an RKO to me. Hello? Beatley tipped fifty dollars. Me too. Shit, <laughs> Beatley? Yo, thank you, Beatley. I don't know who you are, but thank you so much, Beatley. New person, newcomer to the stream. Beatley, my man, the one and only. Thank you so much for the freaking $50 donation as well. What the heck? Beatley, I don't know who you are, but you're a true legend. <laughs> I'm assuming that's Beastly. Did you... Do you have to put your name in whenever you, uh, whenever you donate? Do you have to, like, put your name? Yeah, you do. So you just, you just mispronounced your name or misspelled your name. Dude, I freaking, I, I added, uh, some new alert sounds for donations specifically. And I accidentally left it on because there, there's a couple different ones. And I think I accidentally left it on the option to where it can play, like it has a random uh, chance to play any of them. I need to just mess with it like off stream. I have been messing with it, but like it's hard. It's kind of hard to tell like how things go and if they're good or not off stream. Like I can like test things, but the randomizer thing, the random one is it's, it's literally random. You have like three aliases here already? Ashy, yeah, true. You donated 30 under Ashy's alias? Really? When? You can put any name? You can put any name. I did not know that. When you donate a 50 a couple of days, go for pizza. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. Well, dude, thank y'all for the freaking, uh, the 50 and the 55 donation and the 700 bits. Definitely 100% appreciated, but also unnecessary. Throwing that at a GPU. That's for sure. Actually, speaking of that, um, I think Ashy did ask how much gpus are crow was actually helping me try to find the um appropriate uh gpu that will match my my setup you know match my cpu and my ram and etc cetera, etc cetera. so i need to actually get with crow about that um let me see let me see if i can find it she sent me a link to like two of them. I need to see if I can find it though. The messages. Uh, let me see. Okay. So I think the one, uh, 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 uh. um, Fuck, she, she sent me a couple different links. I'm not too sure. 70, 70, 70, 360, 70, 30, 60, 70. Where the fuck is it? Um. 
you're an idiot. Oh, well, that's not the message I wanted to read. Uh, um, 60, 1080, 70, 14, 40. So I need a, I need like a 30, 70, I think is what I need. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, crew calls me an idiot all the time. In our messages. She calls me a lot of things. Idiot is definitely the main one. <clears throat> um, so it's about Helldivers to hell pods. Uh, so uh, I'm probably going to need to talk to her more about this, but I think Eagle G Force. But if I'm uh, if I'm if I'm uh, if I'm not mistaken. It's it's pretty much anywhere between 400 and 600, give or take. It's between $400 and $600. For for the one that I'm wanting, I don't need like a 41,000 TI Terminator come kill your family while you sleep type graphics card. I just need like a 3070. That that's all that's all I really need. Like, I, I don't need, like, some freaking crazy, insane, send my freaking house to the fucking moon computer or anything like that. I just need, I just need a graphics card that can play 1440 with medium settings. I get at least 60 to 100 LPS in game and also be able to stream um, good. So right now I can have a good stream and the stream be consistent and look good but my game suffers so i'm playing on like low settings and i'm still getting like 20 to 30 fps give you some of my specs it, it's literally just my gpu that needs to be fixed or updated but yeah yeah let me uh, my specs let me see um So that's my CPU. I have 64 gigabytes of RAM. I have two terabytes. I have uh, two, two terabytes uh, SSD. I have um, fiber internet, so my upload and download is like anywhere between 500 and 900. And then my, my GPU is pretty weak, to be honest. My GPU is the weakest thing. My power supply is uh, pretty high. It's a pretty strong power supply. So pretty much in, in, in my computer, everything is pretty good. It's pretty like good to great, you know, pretty strong. It's my GPU specifically. My GPU is the weakest thing. It's the only thing that I've never been able to uh, upgrade. 700 power supply. I have like an 1100. Let me, let me look. What's going on? 
B3 asked Lib0Y gifted a tier 1 sub to Cloaks underscore. They have given 214 gift subs in the channel. Bro, I, I just crawled under my desk so I can look at my computer. I have a 850 power supply. So yeah, it, it's it's literally just my it's literally just my GPU that needs to be upgraded. Yo, what's up, Cloaks, by the way? I honestly just need a good graphics card. Yeah. So pretty much I um I went through an upgrade phase, right? And I upgraded everything in my computer. But when it was time for me to upgrade my GPU, life happened. And ever since then, I just haven't been able to, uh, I just haven't been able to upgrade my GPU. Every time, every time I had the money, I had a like, you know, life. So yeah, my GPU is, was the last thing. Upgrade phase. Yeah, I went through an upgrade, upgrade phase. I uh, upgraded literally everything in my computer, a uh, new keyboard, new mouse, new monitor uh, as well. And then the GPU was the last thing. And the only reason why I didn't upgrade my GPU at the time was because it was, you know, the prices for GPUs were stupid expensive. Like it was during that time where GPUs were like a thousand dollars for like, you know, a mid tier fucking card. So I, I put it off for a couple of months because I was like, I'm not paying a thousand dollars for this fucking card when it should be like around a couple hundred. And then by the time like the prices went down, I couldn't I couldn't afford it. But yeah. And they're not now. No, they are. Uh, the prices of them are pretty, pretty affordable now. It's just I still can't afford it because um well i mean life life you know other things are uh, more priority i guess you can say because i mean like to be fair if i wasn't trying to stream for you guys or make any kind of content then i wouldn't even need to upgrade because if i wasn't trying to stream and make content for you guys and hang out with y'all um if i was just you know if i just turned on the computer and played the game privately i wouldn't need the upgrade because my current gpu can play this game specifically at mid to high settings and i get like 70 to 100 fps and feel perfectly fine but since obs is so taxing on my computer and it slows my in game performance down that's like the reason like so the new gpu wouldn't like benefit both you know me and the stream in a way and in the past like I've, I've tried to do things to uh you know uh buy the gpu and you know um and when i had the money to buy it i unfortunately wasn't able to am i able to play cyberpunk uh no <laughs> even even privately off stream i can't play cyberpunk this computer cannot handle cyberpunk any chance I know my motherboard? Uh, I do not, but there's a way I can find out, right? Um. Helldivers to hell pods. Repeat. Helldivers to hell pods. My my motherboard is a uh, B three fifty gaming plus, and from what me and Crow looked up, it it should still work perfectly fine with a GPU upgrade. The CPU, uh, uh, the motherboard. The motherboard's a B350 Gaming Plus. And, um... Yeah, me, me and Crow, we, we looked into it, and, um... It, it, it can, it can handle a, a, a 370. My motherboard actually wasn't able to handle the 64 RAM at first, but, uh... 
ironically enough and this is how why i think life is crazy sometimes because like when i upgraded the ram to 64 ram because i i used to only have like uh i used to only have 12 ram or 14 something like that around 12 or 16 can't remember and then when i upgraded to 64 ram my motherboard couldn't handle it and uh it just restricted it to like 24 ram no it restricted it to uh 32 ram and literally the next day my motherboard's manufacturer did an update and it updated my freaking motherboard to where it can handle 64 gigabytes and i was like that is crazy life be crazy man because i'm i mean i'm not i'm not pc savvy i don't know every single thing i just see things and i buy and i'm like yeah that that'll work that's why i'm crow helping me because i'm stupid I'm like a 40, a 40, 80, 90 Terminator edition NASA tested. Fuck yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Turns out his ass. <laughs> In her words, an idiot, yeah. Did you think Shroud when that happened? I did. I said, thank you, Shroud. Thank you, my lord and savior, Shroud. <laughs> Um I feel like someone's missing. Oh, he's in his pot. Um all right. Can't forget where you come from, true. True. Um, I need to go uh, take my second dose of medicine. I think it's around that time. So uh, I'll be right back. I do feel a little sickly for the ones who don't know. It's not that great, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm all right. Not too bad. But yeah, I'll be, I'll be right back. I'm just going to go and take some more medicine and stuff. BRB. Helldivers to hell pods. Repeat. Helldivers to hell pods.
Helldivers to Hell Pods. Repeat, Helldivers to Hell Pods. Hellpod launch suspended. Helldivers to hell pods. Repeat. Helldivers to hell pods. Right. The hell was that? All right. What are we doing? What are we doing? Collect hard drive. Collect hard drive. Oh fuck. All right. Or drives it is. <laughs> I'm gonna need a shield for this one, just in case. Um. A twenty seventy? What's the difference between a twenty seventy and a thirty seventy? Because Crow said that uh, I should get a thirty seventy. You could just talk about it in the um you can just talk about it in the the discord channel
Oh my god. The freaking cannon's staring at me. What the fuck?
<laughs> Mines, you know. Mines. All right, I'm gonna go back to this uh, uh sub objective over here. Keep an eye out for the supers. Shooting at me. You shooting at me? No. Satellite? I'm still going to get this uh, sub objective because I you got to carry this all the way. So I'm going to go ahead and get it. That way I don't have to run across the map three times. How did I kill you? I think it's a bug. It does that sometimes. It would say someone killed you when like they didn't. Playing going 12 FPS right now is fucking difficult. I didn't mean to bring the strafing round, by the way. I thought I was bringing the uh, cluster. I'm literally playing on like 12 FPS. This is so difficult to play. Mass Effect? No. the supers by the way they were already it was all the way all the way over here at the uh, at the edge of the map Extraction is over there. 
I'm gonna run to the extraction real quick and drop these uh, supers there. All right, I'm dropping the super samples at the extraction. Let's go. So they will be at the extraction. So whenever we are ready to go, they're there. Don't have to worry about accidentally leaving them on the battlefield or anything like that. Did you say there was a radar or did you already get the radar? No, it's over there. Okay, I see. I'm gonna try to make my way over. <gasps> oh no! I accidentally dropped the uh, the package. Fuck! When I dropped the samples, it dropped the package as well. Oh shit! I try not to stray too far away from Beastly since he's literally new at the game. I don't want him running around on his own. Beastly, if you can, try to stick with him or uh, or me. I just ran over here to drop those super samples there so they didn't get lost in the battlefield. But uh, I'm going to try to make my way over to where you are. We can try to get those, uh, get the radar up and the, uh, the other thing. Oh. Beatly, <laughs> Beatly really just be dipping. Yeah. 
To be fair, I think I think Beatley just doesn't know what the fuck's going on. There's just shit everywhere. Oh my. Nobody saw that.
All right, remember, we still have two packages that we have to uh, deliver. I have one. The other one is unlocked. It's just on the ground. I'll wait for y'all. Since uh, we're right here. Do you have anti? Yeah, have anti over there. Knock that shit out real quick. Oh shit. All right. Now let's get these uh, these packages and get the fuck out of here. Watch for the mines. Watch for the mines. All right, the other package should be here, yeah. We should just straight shot it. Oh my god. Ow, I took so much fall damage from that. Holy shit. Watch the mines. Alright, this way, this way. Yeah, this way.
Yeah, you gotta be careful when you're carrying a package because you you can only you can only use your your pistol, your sidearm, but there's certain animations that you do that will cause you to drop it. Like um, sometimes when you pick up things, usually you can pick up samples and ammo, and the, your character won't drop the package. But sometimes he does. So it's kind of inconsistent, but usually he doesn't. Uh, but picking up, um, switching, switching weapons will drop it. Oh my God, is that the? What the hell are these guys doing? What? Like, I don't know. I don't know what that would have They got, I, uh, they got reinforcements coming. Yeah, just drop the package for now so we can try to fight these guys. Then once we get this kind of cleared and we can move in with it. Bro. Alright. There's a patrol over there. Yeah. I think Beastly just uh, aggro them. Oh shit. I would guess sort of how much they invest in voice actors. I don't think they spent too much money on voice actors. I just think the voice actors did a really good job at voice acting. I think some of these vo voice actors played too much uh, DBD, you know what I mean? Some of their some of their moans and stuff literally reminds me of fucking DVD. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> to be fair, DVD, DVD's voice actors they really get into it. Like you you cannot deny that DVD's voice actors they they must be doing something in that freaking booth for them to be moaning like that. All right, let's uh let's knock out this uh we got a small outpost and then we got a big outpost but the main objective is done so the game is going to be spawning someone died watch out for the mines 
So we got a small outpost and a big outpost. You drown. Oh yeah, you can't swim in this game. Yeah, you can't swim in this game. You can only be in the water for like five seconds and then you drown. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. We should just get to the extract. We still have two reinforced left. Hopefully, get to the extract, call in the pelican. That way, if shit does get kind of crazy, we can at least try to call in a uh, response. That's like the, the one thing that I kind of dislike about waiting for the time to go out. Cause you're gonna get you're gonna get waves of enemies attacking you at extraction almost no matter what it's just kind of random if they show up or not no matter like yeah you know, the time runs out but if you at least try to uh extract while you still have time if everyone dies you can still like reinforce and respawn but if you wait until there's no time then if you die that's it you're dead Oh my god, there's so many chasing us. Five minutes left. We can't stay this low much longer, Helldiver. If we just keep running, we should be fine. Watch for mines. There's mines through here. If you would have jumped on a mine, I would have laughed my ass off. Negative. I would have laughed. I would have like, ha ha, hee hee. <laughs> it would have been funny as fuck. But yeah, is is everybody else's like cape tearing or not tearing? Cause you know how like the game like you take damage but you survive like your 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 cape tears. Like is no one doing it? They must have changed that. Yeah, mine's perfect too. Did the most recent update change it? Yeah. Man, that sucks. I hope it's a bug and it's not supposed to be like that. Like, I actually hope it's supposed to get torn. I thought that was like a really cool addition. Hopefully it's just like a, hopefully it's just like a bug. Here's a, uh, a, a shield. Beatleys, come get this. Come get this, come get this, come, come get this. They're coming from the east and the northwest. Oh, my God. Somehow that entire those and all those patrols chased us all the way here. That's crazy. We got like uh, I think three hulks. Oh, that if that barrage kills all of us, I'm gonna be so pissed. Oh, 
go, 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 go. You think it's bugged? I hope, I hope that's it. I hope it's just bugged. Because the the cape getting torn is definitely one of the uh, coolest like features in the game. I thought so. Hopefully, it's just bugged. Beatly the cadet. No. Uh, one thing that I I noticed, and uh, you you know you're not the you're not the first person to do this. You're not the only person that do this. You know I I've seen people who's like level seventy do this, and then they just get absolutely slaughtered. Um, just because you see a enemy doesn't mean you have to shoot at it. So like, so like if you see patrols or enemies like standing at a base, if, if we're not going that way or anything like that, if we're not already in combat with them, you don't, you do not have to engage them. You do not have to shoot at them because if you shoot at them, they're just going to aggro them. Then they're just going to start fighting everybody. And then the little guys are going to call in for reinforcements and it's just going to make everything far, far worse than uh, it, it, it should be. Like usually, like if we're setting an objective and there's just a patrol walking by, we can usually just kind of stealth it out. And only kind of only engage if they like just get aggroed. <clears throat> Can I upgrade anything? Oh, I need 20 supers. 15, 15, 15, 15. So I need 15 supers. Resupply boxes, refill support weapons. Orbital barrage spread reduced by 15. I still don't know if that's super great or not. Cry, I need your... um. Opinion on it since you have it. I think you have it. Um, I think the eagle one might be good because it drops an extra bomb. Is it actually worth getting? You think so? Okay. Does it does it turn the three eighty into like a one twenty? Like the like the spread of it. Yeah. And then it probably would turn like the 120 into like the, the standard barrage. Dude, what if you ran both? You ran the 380 and the 120? So it's worth getting. So if that's the case, then I need I need five more supers for it then. Yeah, I need five more five more supers. You take a break and you do a few things. God damn it. You piece of shit. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Alright, cry. Or Phoenix. Whatever. Is it good though? Like. I don't know. I play more when I'm free. Alright. I soon pass out. Damn. That be okay. That be okay. No problemo. I'm gonna see how much longer to the major order. The enemy has launched a coward. Three, four more hours. Four more hours until major order. So once, uh, so in four more hours, the major order is going to update, and everyone should receive the fifty-five medal reward. I know some people complain because they they don't get the reward instantly, but from my understanding, sometimes it can take a few hours or a day or two. How much longer until store updates? Uh, 
40 minutes. So pretty much a mission. Pretty much a mission. <laughs> Stay up that long if you can. If you think you can, buddy. Still never got everything on this, I don't think. No. A little less than 40 minutes and then it uh, it updates so destroy 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 so the airbase tower if i'm not mistaken this one you have to upload the thing into the terminal and then it will blow up and then these are simply Destroying the dropships. Kind of stuff should I bring right now? If you have Eagle Airstrike, that would that would be good. Jetpack. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't advise jetpack. I mean, trying trying things on lower difficulties is definitely. A better thing to do. Bring in two support weapons. Um, the um, I don't know what all you have, but if you have if you had the Eagle Airstrike, that would be good. Um, the Precision Strike is pretty all right. You gotta aim, you gotta aim it right, but it's really good. Got the eagle, eagle ones next. Well, it, it's really good to have. Having a having a shield's good to have as well. I think I'm gonna take the shield off. Well, no, nah, I mean I'm running light armor. Shield with light armor is really good. One support weapon, one backpack. I I definitely recommend bringing at least one support, but. I don't think you always have to have a backpack. It is nice to have the shield one though. I feel like when I have the shield, I can be a little bit more aggressive. And then when I don't have the shield, I have to be a little bit more um, controlled with like uh, when I peek corners and peek rocks and stuff. The shield can definitely help, but you have to be level 20 to uh, get the shield.
Yeah. Just to grab this. This is a blow the blow shit up mission though, so. Okay, basically the realistic limits, yeah. Yeah, you don't really want to bring two support weapons, but I guess it I guess it doesn't hurt, but you don't really have to. Or when you don't really need to. I think I'm actually going to remove the shield and bring the 500 instead. I've been trying to use the uh, the cluster bomb to get like a feel and experience with it so I have a good opinion on it. It's kind of nice to uh, like if there's a bunch of enemies, dude, it's kind of nice at like, clearing them out and knocking some of them down. Actually, since uh, I'm bringing no shield, I don't want to wear light armor. I'm going to bring this so I can have uh, I can throw father. Beatly, bestly, beastly, beatly, something along those lines, yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm totally down, and uh, totally down for like trying things out. But since you're you're literally brand new, you've only had like a few hours in the game. Um, I definitely recommend testing things to see how they work and see if you know if it's your play style or if you like it or not on like lower difficulties that's what i did with some things i would just go to like uh you know difficulty three difficulty four to just test things to see how they work etc etc and learn the mechanic of it Like, I did a testing for sound. Enemies typically won't hear your primary gunshot within 50 meters. So within 50 meters, they typically won't hear your, uh, your gunshot. Detect a tower. Jammer. Can actually see it. Let's uh let's go ahead and knock this out right here. Fucking tree. Watch the mines. Alright, so they shot up a flare, so let's go ahead and just move north and uh, get away from there. Remember, shoot, move, shoot, move. Yeah, you gotta shoot, move. It's 
especially with the uh, the rocky guys Just retreat, just retreat. Move this way. Oh my god. They're like aggroed on you. You gotta break line of sight. Yeah, don't push into the base. Push over here with me. Push over here with me. Push over here with me. Watch this. Now we just leave. Now we can we can try to push this uh, objective right here. So there was a fabricator right next to the jammer. If you blow up the if you blow up the fabricator, then it would blow up the jammer. Same thing happens with the detector as well. This set of rocks here. Since we're fixing to push forward, can have a supply here. Resupply with whatever we need. Push up since we're fixing to push up. If we need to, we can push back to these rocks. They're not like the super safest, but it's better than nothing. And we, you know, this is resupply right there as well. But yeah, so this is one of the... Oh, this is just a, a minor thing. This is not important. There is a tank here, though. They called a reinforcement, so just move left. Just move left, just move left. Oh, shit. This patrol is still following. Oh, shit. There is a tank there. Holy. There's a tank and a hulk is what I meant to say. I can't fucking move. I wasn't expecting a tank and a whole hello. Tank's dead at least. Well, I killed the tank. I don't know if you got the Hulk too or not. I'm assuming it did because I don't see it anywhere. 
Yeah, the Hulk's dead too. Nice. My little pebble actually did something. I right, just leave. Just head this way. Hey, don't stand in the open like that either. Like, try to take cover and then shoot. These guys take so many shots. It's crazy. Alright. Bro, there's another one. We gotta take him out so they're not behind us. Since we're fixing to attack this base. Yeah, there's a base up here. So if you're sprinting, the enemies can detect you easier. Because you're loud as fuck when you sprint. Alright, retreat, back up, back up, back up. They call the dropship. Got to get a resupply here as well. Oh, we gotta move this way. Move south. I can't see. Oh my god, you ran to me. Watch for mines. Dropping a pin. East, 100 meters. Let's push the uh, east. Hang on. All right. Push Tagging south. south.
So like you don't have to go in and kill every single like enemy, right? You it's pretty much just uh like destroy the fabricators and then you're good to go. Dude, I'm getting literally two FPS. Holy fuck, this is so bad to play. My GPU is just dying. There's 30 enemies. Yeah, just just leave. Yeah, so sometimes these little guys, they will literally just keep chasing you. Sometimes you you have you have to kill them. Like they are a pain in the ass. They would literally just keep chasing you. Also, somehow my cluster bomb destroyed the fabricator. I didn't I didn't know these uh, were able to do that. I'm telling you, the cluster bomb is starting to become one of my, uh, one of my favorites. Oh, this is a Sam site. So the sim site's a side objective. If we get this active, it it should help target and uh, shoot down drop ships whenever they get called in. We may not be able to like clear every single side objective or every outpost, but that's okay. You know, you're 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 new and you're learning and everything. I hope I am educating not only you but anybody and everybody who watches or plays with me you know i i hope i'm i'm teaching good things i'm not that great of a teacher but i do try do we need to fight this no we don't dropping a pin south 100 meters So yeah, if you're if you ever hear the the bots make a noise and you see like a scan coming from their eyes, like you hear the noise it is like, da da da. I don't I don't know. I can't make the noise. But if you hear them make a noise, then that means they are detecting you. So something you can do is just like dive behind a rock or something and just stay there for like four seconds, and then usually they were you know lose lose interest. But if you just keep running, then they're going to detect you in like two seconds. I'm going to try to destroy this fabricator so we don't actually have to go in there. Ow, shit. Uh, fabricator is destroyed so we don't have to push in. 
Just fucking get away from here. Especially since they got a, a drop ship. Fucking run. You got a drop ship, they got a tank, they got a hulk. You got a fucking detector tower. Now that detector tower, um, that scan that's going around, try to avoid that. There's also enemies right there. We need to not bring these guys here. The tank did lose interest though. Yeah, this isn't anything important, so we don't need to fight these guys. What we need? I mean, they did just call a dropship, so... So, whenever the enemies call reinforcement dropship, they are on, like, a two-minute cooldown. I don't know if that's the exact time, but they are on a cooldown to where they can't call another reinforcements. So, it's, sometimes it's good to use that cooldown timer to attack, like, another outpost. Dude, they're shooting through... They're shooting through the rock. You just gotta move. I didn't realize they they had it like that. I'm trying to move around so we can try to fuck up that uh that tower. This right here is just this right here is not important, bro. You keep shooting me. I swear to God. But yeah, you you can hide you can hide behind rocks and stuff to where the the eye doesn't see you. But yeah, this rock right here, these this really tall, weird-looking fucking venom-looking rock, that's where you can find the super samples. Oh my god, bro! Yeah, those are the super samples. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope this fucking works. It's kind of random if it does or if it doesn't. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It worked, thank God. All right, we can just rotate around. Let them fight their demons. If you want me to carry the samples, then I can. I mean, there's no guarantee that, you know, it'd be any safer with me, but. So this is a terminate the illegal broadcast. You can usually just destroy that from shooting the top and then just move on. Rotate around. Because there's going to be enemies in there. Yeah. You kind of aggro them a little bit, but that's fine. Just keep running. I'm going to try to just shoot them. Watch for that. Uh, Watch for that tower there. They called for reinforcements all the way over there. So that's kind of good. That means the reinforcements are not anywhere near us. Not really going to bases, grab samples. No, no. You don't really, you don't really do stuff like that on higher difficulties, and there's only like two of us. I mean, like if you had more experience and stuff like that, we could. But you literally just got the game, and that stuff you kind of do on lower difficulties, anyways. When you play, when you play on seven, eight, nine. You, the only samples you really care about are the super samples. Those are the only ones you care for. The common and rare you don't really care for. The super ones that you grabbed are the ones you only care for. Because you can get you can get the common and rare super easy. What primary am I rocking? I'm rocking the uh, the eruptor.
Look at that. Look at that. Very nice. Yeah, the precision strike is just like that. You kind of have to throw it in front of the enemy, like the tank or whatever. And wait for them to, like, walk into it. Dude, did they buff the the cluster? Did they buff it? That's two times that the, uh... Oh, we gotta move out here. We gotta move. We gotta move. We gotta move. This is not where we want to be. Oh my god, I killed myself. Okay. I don't know how, but I did, apparently. It's that fucking tower. Dude, I have 20 FPS. I swear to fucking God. Dude, this is so ass to play right now. I know I keep saying it, but it's because it is, dude. Like, it's so hard for me to do anything. Yeah, that tower fucked you up. I'm gonna try to go get your get the samples. Since you oh, that is a hulk. He has a rocket. I thought he had a flamethrower. I hate the rocket hulks. Bro, their aim is so insane compared to like some of the other bots. Like they, they can literally hit you across map. Like their aim is actually insane. Like I don't know why they're so precise with their rockets. But honestly, all of them are. Like, their fucking rocket shots are fucking insane. Alright, where's those samples at? Right. Yeah, the rocket ones are fucking stupid. I right, got my, my samples up here as well. Oh, shit. Oh, it bounced off. The fucking cannon, bro. Bro, we're, we're just wasting fucking time in this one spot. Like, we're wasting like 10 minutes here for no fucking reason. What the fuck? Dude, I swear my shots go through these guys more often than it should. Yeah, shooting shooting at the turn like that is not a good idea. I was about to blast it, but then you shot it, so now it's turning around. I can't get a I can't get a shot on it now. That's not gonna do anything. I got it from the back though. We just gotta move. Wasting too much time here. 
Oh, there's a objective over there. I didn't even I didn't even fucking see. Of course it is. The samples? I have them. Alright, so we need to go back and destroy that objective over there. Yeah. Those guys are... The Berserkers and Devastators are very, very tanky. Sometimes more tanky than I think they should be. Oh. We got to go back and blow this up. We got 10 minutes to blow up these last two objectives. Once we do that, we're just uh, extracting, which is on the other side of the map. Yeah, if you want to go grab those samples, you can, but I do have the super, super samples. Alright, so since that's done, we can move to this last objective. They called up a flare, so that actually is good for us. Remember, watch for mines. The mines look very similar to fucking the plants here, the grass and shit. I'm going to rotate all the way left. Because we got we got to go inside that base. So I'm going to drop the samples here. That way in, in case things get super super fucking crazy and I die 100,000 times. Maybe you'd be able to go grab those samples and get out. Oh my god, dude, I hate that shit. Like those plants just exploding like that are fucking stupid. Oh my god! Where the fuck did you come from? What in the fuck? 
where even are you why are you all the way over there All right, I'm going to run back to those samples and then just go to extract. I thought it was just like two. No, that's that's a whole fucking patrol. Is this where I dropped them? No, this is where you died. Tagging map, southeast, 100 meters. There, there's two. There's two of them on the map. I thought, I thought that was them. Oh, this is fucking bad, bro. This is bad. The spot I put them to be safe isn't safe.
Oh my god, bro. I can't get to him. I don't even know where they are. They detected you right there and then called the fucking drop ships right on the fucking samples. We just gotta go. Like we're not we're not getting that. Oh, what the heck? what the fuck just hit me? Uh, yeah, we just gotta go, dude. There's no way. I'm dead. Never mind. Fuck it. Nah, we ain't getting them. Bro, I don't know what happened, but it was clear. They spotted you. They called a drop ships on you. And then everything was just gone. Gone to shit. Yeah, I don't know what happened. You just gotta wait. I mean, that's all you can do. You just gotta try to survive a minute. Which, I mean, it doesn't matter if you die, to be honest. We completed the mission. You gotta go to the extraction, my guy. Where where are you going? You have ten seconds to get there. Like I don't know what you're what you're doing, but you're running literally the wrong way. You gotta get there. You have five seconds. Well, technically twenty five, because it lands and then you have twenty seconds. You have twenty seconds to get there. Never mind. I have no idea what you was doing, but it, that was not it. <laughs> Mission completed, though. That's all that matters at the end of the day. Said so it was deploying an emergency extraction. Yeah, and you had 20 seconds to get there. You ran the opposite way. <laughs> You would have made it. it. It was it was right there. I see the blue beam. You was literally next to it, but then you ran the wrong way. You ran you ran away from it, pretty much. But at the end of the day, the mission was completed. That's all that matters. Well done. Sucks about the supers, dude. I don't know what happened for my POV. Hell diver. Like they they spotted you. And then they shot up a flare, and then they fucking brought four fucking reinforcements. And then everything just went to shit. Dude, I couldn't find the samples on the ground. I ran over it, and it, there was nothing there. I thought the ones I ran to, I thought those were it. But there were two samples right next to each other on the map. Dude, I was... That, that definitely could have been better, but it's whatever.
it doesn't really matter to be honest the mission got completed yeah I don't know what happened to him I literally ran by them and I didn't see them and I I didn't hear the beep either like you can usually like whenever you drop samples even if you die and you drop them they make like a beep noise I wasn't even hearing the beeps because I was just gonna run through grab them and just run to the extraction but they, they just wasn't there and every time I looked on the map they kept moving they for some somehow kept moving further and further closer like to the enemies like what the fuck I mean, like at the superstore. Ew, what the fuck? This is. This is light armor. What in the fuck is this? This is an ugly ass helmet. Some of their helmet design. Someone needs to speak to their uh, helmet design team and be like, look, some of your helmets are pretty cool, but most of them are ass. Like, what is this? I think this one's okay. I mean, I'm not a super fan of it, but it's definitely better than this. Like this this some this is some astronaut stuff right here. This helmet and this suit, that, that's definitely some like astronaut shit. Look like a NASCAR driver? Kinda. I see more of like an astronaut. I mean, this body armor isn't too bad, I guess. I mean, it literally just looks like a reskin of, um, it just looks like a reskin of this. So this is, this is the new one that came out with like the new war bond, right? So you got the, the bombshells, et cetera, et cetera. These kind of arm, uh, shoulder pads. So it's got the shells. Oh shit. So it, it it is a little different, but also very similar. It, it's pretty much low key, just a reskin. Yeah, literally just a just a reskin. There's a few things different, but overall, it's just a reskin recolor. This helmet is fucking atrocious, I swear. Like I would I would definitely rather wear this helmet over this one, that's for sure. I don't know if you guys ever notice or pay attention, but a lot of the armor, like a lot of the the underclothing or the chest armor or whatever, a lot of them are literally just re reskins. It's it's literally just a recolor. Like if you look at um like this one like these two the light gunner and this one the eradicator literally just a reskin the underclothing is a different color but same belt same gloves same chest just a reskin the only thing that really changes cosmetically wise about them is like this one has like, you know, 50, 50 cal rounds right here. And then like this little pouch and they have different shoulder pads. Uh, and of course, different color, but like it's literally just a reskin. Um, I haven't seen a reskin of this one and I haven't seen a reskin of this one. But this one. 
The uh, the Trent Engineer. Exactly same as this one. The Combat Technician. Just a reskin. You can see it in like their forearm armor and their uh, the chest armor. There's a few things different about it, but uh, overall, yeah, just another reskin. But yeah, I think these two and then this one, I haven't seen a reskin of. You don't really see too many heavies, to be honest. I would like to find... I don't know if there is one, but I would like to find a, a light armor that has the... Uh, that has the throwing range. I would like to... I would like to find that. That's probably the one I would wear. I like being able to throw my... Uh, my stratagems, father. It comes in clutch, too. Alright, good night, Ashy. I'm probably gonna end stream as well, to be honest. I've been streaming almost 10 hours. Oh, I don't want to wear this armor. Just switch to this, I guess. <laughs> Bing bong. But you can't get past round two. My democracy. God, you actually, you actually didn't get past round two. Dude, I was just joking. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. You got it. There you go, there you go. Round two. There we go. Get to round five. Almost, 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 buddy, almost. You're close. I wish you could see like your personal, your personal best. I don't think you can. Proud of you? Yeah. Something like that. There's a way to see your personal best. I don't know how to see it. 
Oh shit. Yeah, I don't see personal best. Well, they're throwing some long ones at me, man. Oh, shit. 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 <laughs> I fat fingered, bro. That's what happens when you're the best. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm probably gonna go ahead and end stream, dude. I've been streaming for about ten hours. I I, I need to take a I need to take a good break, a good good break from stream and the game. Oh, it's been fun, Beastly. Glad to see you have the game and for you to join and play. Actually, hang on. There you go. Come here. Deserve a nice handshake. For once. One good handshake. Oh! Got him. Hey, hey! I'm <laughs> he's just leaving his different. I right, got him, got him, got his ass. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking around, my man. I'm just joking. Nah, it's good. It's good to see you. Uh, you get in the game and playing. We can play more in the future, obviously. Maybe later. Maybe later. Uh, of course, of course. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna take a good break though. I don't know how long, but uh, I do need a break. The um, mm, the major order updates in about three hours. So honestly, I may just take a a three hour break. I'm gonna be honest. Um, so in three hours, I might get back, come back. I mean, I'm I'm gonna be honest. I probably played the game a little bit privately, like all flying off stream and stuff like that, because I get decent FPS when I'm not streaming. Go bed. I don't need to go to bed, dude. I woke up like 12 hours ago. Remember, I've been feeling sick lately, so I've been like sleeping a lot. Whenever I do sleep, yeah, I woke up at like 4 p.m. I took some medicine like last night, and dude, it knocked me out. I went to bed around like 8 30 because it, it knocked me out so hard like that's what i'm saying dude the past couple of days i've been feeling a little sick so i take some medicine and it just kind of knocks me out so yeah it's, it's also going to mess up my sleep schedule which sucks <sighs> so yeah i mean honestly like uh let me let me take a little break and then maybe we can play like if you're down i don't know what you're gonna do i don't know if you're going to bed or if you're going to work or if you're just gonna be chilling i don't know but uh i do get better fps when i don't when i'm not streaming because my gpu sucks but um yeah i'm gonna end stream chill for a bit and that's that thank you everyone for watching i hope you enjoyed and I am ending stream. I'm going to bed. All right. Good night, Beastly. It's been fun. It's been real. See you in the future. Next stream, maybe. Hopefully. Possibly. You're more than welcome to join anytime. Did I give you the Helldiver row in the Discord? I don't. I don't know.
Um. I did. Yes. I had to check to make sure I wasn't like missing anything. Uh, all right. Well, everybody watching lurking. It's been real. Thank you for the subs, resubs, gift subs, donos and bits from earlier. Again, never, never never necessary always appreciate it but never necessary wait what the hell what, what happened to all those what happened to all the ships there's like none here they're all like off to the side i rarely see that mm, i see everybody's leaving nobody wants to be here i see i see all right anyways that's gonna be it me i know I, i've said this like five times always necessary no it's not definitely helpful but it's never necessary i would never ask for any of that stuff but yeah ending stream bye bye good night